We good? Hey there, guys. It's Metro. We are back. And on this day, we return for a reset of the World of Warcraft weekly video game content. And this week it is a interesting week. Sanguine Grievous Fortified, if I remember correctly. I don't necessarily hate the week, but I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I want to put this shit in the bank one way or the other. First things first, while we we get started here. Hey, Pen, what's up? How's it going, ma'am? Uh, odd, lately your stream don't show up when I'm refreshing your channel. Oh, yeah, I just started it, like, out of nowhere because the freaking I couldn't even get on Battle.net until right now. I haven't opened it yet. I got a 19 temple if you're looking for keys. Oh, okay. Let's see what, uh, what we got. Mm. Put all that shit in the bank. Uh, I gotta make a decision with this gear, too. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, it's Midsummer Fire Festival. I always love these little banners. Love the little banners flying around. Um, yeah, I don't know. How many more risks do we need, huh? I'm starting to think, like, I'm saving these items for no point. Definitely save the belt, I guess. We don't have a lot of belts. But, I mean, I literally have three sets of these wrists, and I'm wearing one of them. So, it's four total sets. So, just put in the actual inventory. We ended up with three total gores yesterday. Rip push. Oh, really? Isn't that supposed to be one of the easier keys? Oh, yeah! I forgot about those bags. Great call. Let's do that real quick. Hey, Werner. What's up? How's it going, ma'am? That's a great call, Jix. You were the one who reminded me of it in the first place. So, that's good. Full circle. That was Saturday. Been a crazy weekend. First time uh, the family's all gotten together in a while, so that was Sunday. It was a lot of fun. And then yesterday, I was like, God, it was like 95. I think it's going to be even hotter today. We'll see. Right now, it's relatively no. It's fans even off. Uh, all good here. How are you, man? Hey, I'm good, man. I'm, re I'm really good. I'm so triggered by that 22 at all. That's funny. Uh, all right, so let's see. Oh, the herbs are really cheap right now. Holy shit. Let's buy some uh, herbs, too, while we're here. Uh, but anyway, what's the name of the bags? I don't Let's see. Containers, bags, small black pouch. Is this it? We had that by five minutes. What's the name of it? Let's pull Blob with Lost Boss next time. But what are we actually looking for? 32 slaughters. Hexweave is 30. Don't, hopefully they're not more than a few thousand. Not seeing any. I don't know what I'm looking for. I haven't opened it yet, sir. Deep Sea is the name of it. Deep Sea. Oh, 200 each? Not, wait, that does are 30 slots. What? Are you in already? I just waited in queue and I eventually got in. 30 slots? Yeah. Is there, is there no 30? I didn't, I didn't think there was a 32 slot bag, honestly. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, open the chest and, and whatnot. I'll get those herbs out. Hey, what's up, Herb Derp? How's it going, buddy? They're called embroidered deep sea bags? Oh, I see, okay. Embroidered deep sea. Well, if there was no deep sea, that means there's no embroidered deep sea as well. It's on your interface and let you sort by slots. Oh, yeah. Embroid. That's spelled wrong. E M B R O I D E R E D. Yeah, okay, so. None on there. It's fine. Alright, let's go get started on some keys. Go get the box that's opened. The one box. And uh, that'll be it. It's like 4k compared to 200 gold uh, last time I checked. Gotcha. I assure you they are on the octa now. So what did I spell it wrong? I'm not sure what's going on, but it's all good. We'll worry about it another time. Uh, let's hope for some good groups today. Yeah, no doubt. Speaking of, let's get the program up. Is the 8 slots worth it? For me, yeah. I mean, unless in Shadowlands it's going to be another 8 slots, I don't... It probably will be, but... Um, I definitely could use it. Remind you in a week, or just off-stream, because I don't want to sit here and figure out what's going on. What the fuck is this nonsense? What the fuck? <laughs> a 
Okay. Anyway, is that sky golem mount the one that can gather herbs while mounted? Yeah, that's the one. Alright, let's get it up. Sup, Metro? Got a good feeling about this week? Yeah. Ugh, of course. Worst possible pickup? It's got speed on it, though. The jigs tell you about the time you started uh, making unbridled potions during Tank Breaker Opalisk. No. Alright, so, what did we get? We got... 20 shrine. That's funny. Um, let's put these in the uh, bank there now as well. And that's that. We'll get started. Hopefully some good keys out there. Do you know who I am? Made it low I got a story for you that involves Faldor. Funny. Alright, uh, let's see what we got out there. Not much. Is this what somebody said they had a nineteen junkyard or a nineteen Sotralis, was that you? Um when Flavor went surfing. So have you ever seen someone die to fall damage on Razan? <laughs> what the fuck? No. Is the answer. Shrine seems decent this week. Just watch Dratnos' vid. Oh, yeah. My, what's wrong with Shrine? Sanguine is not my favorite fix in Shrine, but other than that, it should be good. Razan spit out Faldor and he died to fall damage. That's bizarre. Oh, okay. That's you, yeah. Poor Faldor. <laughs> Unlucker. Alright, we're going to do this 19 then. Get the week started. So what do we think? Uh, Sanguine. I, I don't know, man. There's a couple bosses that Sanguine really sucks for in some dungeons. Or in, like, I mean, some dungeons that it really sucks for. And I think one of them is this dungeon, honestly. We'll see. So what, he was, like, low enough that he died to the... I mean, do you even take fall damage from Razan? How much do you take? Like, 1% of your health or something? That's funny. What else? I feel like I've missed stuff. Been away from the game for a little bit. Uh, Sotralis in those ads? Good luck, yeah. It was like 10%. That's interesting. New post on Wildheart about a Warcraft movie. Oh yeah, how about this Burning Crusade thing though? Did you guys see this? Um, reputation going on right now. It is called Sign of the Twisting Nether. BC time walking right now and uh, a b ref buff. So I don't even know. I might try to get some reps. I don't know. Not like I'm going to, but. Trying is easy every week. Interrupt, 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 stun. Follow it up with some more interrupts. Yeah, the problem is when if you saw, um, you saw last week's shine that we did, if uh, people invite fucking two hunters and shit, it's like, I don't know what you expect. If, the, if you invite two hunters, the healer better be ready because it's going to be a lot of damage and that's fine. Doesn't mean it's hard, but they're never ready. That's the thing. Even the, the group leader was the healer and he was just like, seemed oblivious. He was like, I'm not worried. And then we got to the boss and we got like four stacks and everybody does. To go, like, oh, yeah, I guess you were worried. I've been looking forward to this push week. Do people really think this is a push week? What <laughs> the fuck? It's just a fortified week. I don't know, man. What was what was two weeks ago? There's no way to see it. Uh, we could look on the sheet. Um, week one. Week one. Bolstering Grievous. Yeah, I guess so. I guess bolstering's worse than Sanguine, obviously. But I mean, that week. Th actually, I don't know why we even do it, dude. Are we, am I doing this again? Are we fucking doing this again? Oh my god, I'm doing it again! A fucking discipline priest for Grievous Centralis. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, he's holy. Thank god. I was gonna say, are we making the exact same fucking mistake we made two weeks ago? Anyway, um... Yeah, I got it. Dratnos was on about Sanguine being the easiest on-death to fix compared to Bursting and Bolstering. 
Right, but that doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> doesn't mean it's easy. Anyway, um, I don't know. Last week was honestly a joke. Yeah, that's why I felt like last week was actually really easy. This is one of the better weeks than two weeks ago uh, when people did 28. It's nice. We believe, yeah. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, uh, I remember that. Good times. Morning, Metro. Hey, Wild Kid, what's up? Genfu, what's up, man? How's it going? You still looking for that invite? To the guild. Yeah, there you are. Uh, you're a god, DK. It's easy for you. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> All right, good. One second deplete. Rip. All right, what are we waiting for here? People on their way. What a fix. Uh, it's Sanguine Grievous Fortified. Yeah, Rip, you'll get him this week easy, though. Anyway, uh, we depleted due to player errors. That's usually what happens, yeah. You think you will down Ilganoth this week? Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. I didn't even think about Ilganoth. Prob I don't know. I'm not sure what the group's going to look like. We're probably going to have a bunch more melee this week than we did last week, so... Anyway, um, Solandra died on Yasma, among others. People died on Gauntlet and Junk. We can do my Shrine, Sarah, since it's your favorite. We want Cop. Well, unfortunately, you'll have to get him to reroll then. What is this? People coming or what? Finally. Alright, anyway, so starting it off with a little something smaller. 19, work our way up, hopefully. This is uh, the key holders from stream or something, so good. We'll do the 20 after this. Um, long time no see. What's up, man? Uh, do you know what the affixes are? Yes. I, I literally just answered the question. Uh, I'll take Fortified over Tyrannical, given the choice. Yeah. Shrine is my favorite. Why do people hate it? Yeah, I don't know. It's not, it's not that bad this season. Had Junk Till failed to one phase with 10% le left. One person didn't have bot because of a death. Gotcha. Unlooker. Yeah, those bots are such a big deal in the higher key levels. I finally caught, all right, caught Cobb's stream yesterday. Does he know his screen is pitch black? Whatever any darkness happens. I don't know what, what you mean, but probably not, to be honest. Cobb's not one for the, the visual. <laughs> I don't know. Not very uh, observant, let's put it that way, visually. That 22 AD, though, it was so close, Jix. Uh, was the first time the group went into 22, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, I mean, Fowler is literally not even done. I don't think Fowler has a 20 up, like, timed. <laughs> so, that's pretty good. Solandria, too. How'd you get Solandria? <laughs> fuck? I haven't seen him online on a non-raid night in, like, a, two months. I like Shrine, too. It's still one of the harder dungeon IMO, even after the nerf. Oh, yeah, it's hard still, but, uh, it's not bad at all anymore. Uh, we got what we need on the recording? Yep. Almost out of flasks. Uh, like whenever there's any black stuff on the ground, it's pitch black and makes the whole screen dark. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'd have to see it, I guess. I don't know. I didn't see that. I uh, just messaged Salandra. It's amazing what you can accomplish if you just ask people to come play with you. Chicks always finds a way to get Salandra on. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. But if you have to ma ma ask him to log on, he probably doesn't want to be on. But that's good. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Alright, let's crush this real quick. Oh, what am I wearing? The wrong ass gear. Fuck. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, so Sanguine is already a bit of a problem here. Let's go ahead and get these away from the, from the obelisk. Really don't want there to be a puddle on top of the obelisk. Oh yeah, that small ass crocolis does it too. Okay, we should stop stunning them. I think Fowler ha almost has 520. It's nice. 
Okay, so what, uh... No problems here. Looks like we got a blob up here. That's good. Just gonna go uh, kill these two first. Then we'll go downstairs. Good twilight proc there. Now these drops anyway, so you gotta, gotta run. Well, not necessarily, but you don't want the blob standing in it. can't hear the music, can you? Or not the in-game music, but the outside IRL music. Uh, he has two 20s and a 21, but he is excited to push now. So I'm sure it will go up this week. Sweet. It's good to hear that. More people interested in keys, the better. Hopefully the carry on carry over effect is there for next expansion. He was swapping a TD for another ineffable. That was so cool. Uh, sitting outside with the glass of wine in the sun, it's like 75 here. Beautiful. Sweet. It sounds great. It is going to be in the 90s today, which I'm excited about. Did you just faxy Faldor on Raider IO? Uh, more of a Twitch user now. Just don't like how YouTube is run. No, I'm sorry to hear that, Max. Thanks for giving your unsolicited opinion on something. Uh, lucky you. We get rain all day. Yeah. Obviously, uh, not always the nicest weather, but uh, I tell you what, man. We've had some really nice weather recently here in Pennsylvania. It's been really good. Uh, this is definitely the best June we've ever had, honestly, 100%. Uh, no, I talked to him and he told me. 90? That's too much, yeah. I don't mind it. I like it. Uh, hey, Metro, Chris Smart. I've uh, been enjoying your stream for a long time. Does DK rotation have a lot of downtime? Yeah, definitely. If you're trying to play the way I'm playing now, it's got a really high amount of downtime. You're basically just sitting there waiting for damage to happen. Which is not necessarily a bad thing if you're serious about, like, you know, being the best DK you can be, but it is very boring at times. I've definitely enjoyed playing my DK less since I changed to uh, this playstyle with Verse. But succeeding in keys is also fun, so it kind of balances itself out. Hey, hi, Lord. What's up, Mister? Somebody did already. Tough fight. You see, I had the wherewithal not to automatically res and die again. I wonder if this is a weird question that I'm going to ask. But, like, if you use, like, haste amp, this versatile, does a uh, bloodlust, like, how does bloodlust deal with that? I don't know. It's not live. What do you mean? Used to play brew for a while. Felt really hectic when trying to learn packs and interrupts. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you're looking for a tank without a busy rotation. Well, I don't expect this to stay that way in Shadowlands, unfortunately. All, all tanks are going to have a lot of, uh, Keybinds come Shadowlands. Let's put it that way. So I wouldn't wouldn't worry about rotations. I just worry getting the best you can at the spec. Anyway, um, can we get some definitive proof whether or not this boss hits harder on fortified? I guess some mechanics do. I don't know. You'd have to like look at logs. Uh, it's not increased by amp. I think since it's a flat haste increase. So yeah, it's all sources of haste, including lasto. Blood should affect it. That's very interesting. So that means that you would have like, what, like 200% haste? If you had as much like haste amp as people have verse amp, you'd have like 200% haste during Bloodlust, huh? Hey Metro, how's the day so far? Uh, well, good. The last 19 minutes have been really kind to me. All right, this boss went down. He went down smooth, as they say. Get a little speed pot here. Speed pot. Now, sanguine in this room coming up is always a problem, so we're gonna play it safe. We'll be over count or slightly, but it's better than uh, having a fucking mess of sanguine in this room. 
What's the... Uh, yeah, it's Fear Guy again. Good. It rotates every two weeks, right? Is that how that works? We won't have the essence, unfortunately. Good to see a Holy Priest. I haven't seen one in ages, really. I played with a lot of Holy Priests recently. I don't know why. Just a coincidence, I suppose, but... Not the best healer right now. Nineteen, I don't really expect to be taking a lot of damage, especially with with the S or with the trinket. I have the the trinket on for this, so I basically just put a giant absorb on myself. But yeah, get him away from Sanguine. That's pretty common. The Sanguine's actually like relatively hard with the Obelisk, man. It's definitely harder than. Well, actually, I don't know. No, no, no. They they changed. Uh, what was it called? Enchanted or whatever it was called. Whatever the third season of Fix was, the emissaries, they used to work, they used to like get healed by Sanguine, but they changed it. Did you see Twitch Soul Curse? Yeah, I did. I don't know what the fuck any of that means, but I saw it happen. Ninja is going back to Twitch. Nice. Uh, do you have a lot of heals? A list of heals you like to run with, depending on the week. Nah, no, nothing like that. And I will pull all this together. And key holder is offline. Uh, true, not the best healer, but they have been on the bench this whole expansion. I find it unacceptable. They can't fix the class. Holy Priest has been one of the best raid healers for two years, basically. Nobody's on the bench. It's just they suck for five. There's nothing to fix. It's just how it works. You know what I mean? It's just the kit, unfortunately. What do you think about this a week of fix guy? Who's guy? Me? What? Uh, yeah, it's good. Not too bad. I'm not a big fan of Sanguine or Grievous, but they're not bad. As long as the the group is ready for him, well, he just does no damage, right? It's a big. They they don't do anything. They don't. <laughs> other than they're basically like the shadow priests of Mythic Plus world. They don't do anything other than uh, actual throughput, which can be good, but uh, sadly that's not enough in my book. How's that not close enough? What? Wow, I almost died because that mob was not close enough. That's crazy. Now we're fighting in this like really awkward corner, which is probably going to be an issue because I bet we're going to aggro extra stuff. Looks like we're good. What a bad week for Mythic Plus. You think this is a bad week? I think most people would disagree with you, but it's definitely not my favorite week. What's left now? Just the big pack? Okay. Alright, anyway. Uh, this week shouldn't be too bad. I, I, I quite like last week, honestly. I have to say. But yeah, this week's not bad. Priest is the opposite of Druid during the span. Uh, they're the affliction type of healer. Good in raids, bad in mythic plus, right? What's your haste at? Uh, I don't know, like, you mean out of combat? Because there's a lot of procs and stuff. Out of combat, I think it's like 24 or something like that. Next week is nice, so really. What's next week? Let's take a look. You think a tyrannical is good? Oh, tyrannical teaming. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. It's, wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's teaming, volcanic, tyrannical. Interesting. That's not a bad week. This week it's only like total gore and shit that sucks. Total gore is another one that we will probably avoid yet again. Uh, did Holy Pally ever have Holy Power? Kind of shocked to see they went to a resource spender. Yeah, they had Holy Power for most of the. Whenever everybody had holy power, they had holy power. So was that like mop through uh, mop and wad, I guess. Five, 
Is that gonna drink or no? He is drinking. That's some shitty water he's got, I guess. Mother Load Sanguine kind of sucks too. Yeah, it could do, but I'm not worried about Mother Load ever. I, I think Mother Load, other than the, that bolstering week a couple weeks ago, I'm not worried about it. Now with the routing that you can do in there, it used to be bad in seasons one and three, one through three, but uh, I'm not worried about it at all anymore. That uh, burrow just did a lot of damage for a 19 fortify. Maybe that's also associated with yeah. Okay, yep. Maybe that's also so associated with uh, fortified. It's kind of fucking sad how many people die to burrow though. Honestly, um, same. I used my load to gear my alts. I see. Beware. Almost just wiped to me typing. Anyway, does anyone think it's strange that two weeks after the schedule resets? Ske wait, the schedule's event once postponed. We still haven't heard anything. I don't know what to think about that whole situation. Good evening. Uh, not quite, but welcome. It's actually morning currently, but a few more minutes. It will be afternoon. Yeah, I'm surprised there'll probably be an announcement this week about it. Probably be something going on this week. It better be, because at this point it's getting a bit fucking ridiculous now. Do people even still care about this shit anymore? <laughs> like, it's been quite a while. Oh, turn back around too early, so that's probably going to be really bad. Looks like we're alright. Uh, TD is bad with any affixes, Soldagorgas. Yeah, it's only really bad with Sanguine because there's very little options in there with Sanguine. So, you know, that's how fast that boss should die. Of course, last week it was tyrannical, so it had a lot more health, but uh, that's pretty uh, pretty good right there. This is the one that you want to be targeting. You need to be kicking the, sh the shocks. Anyway, it's just frustrating when the mob gets to 20% and starts fleeing into Sanguine. Right, that's what I'm saying. There's nothing you can do at times in there. It's really, really finicky. I didn't do TOS last week due to explosives. Uh, if you didn't have a good group, it's a wipe. Oh yeah, the last boss. I forgot about that. <laughs> You're probably right. We weren't going to end up getting there anyway. I feel like this dungeon, Mother Load, and Under Rot have were helped the most by Awaken. This one is probably the one that's helped the most for sure. It's been... Uh, so much nicer to not have to pull over count every time or do some finicky fucking double rogue strategy shit just to get through it it's really annoying how that works and it's probably gonna happen again in shadowlands so we'll see what happens but uh i'm hoping that the answer is no Waking, not so much, but it was horrible with them together not too long ago. Uh, it's so nice to skip the starter packs in Temple. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's nice to be able to skip what you want. People are going to be spoiled, man, by uh, next uh, next expansion. They're going to, or by this season into next expansion. They're going to forget how easy they had it with uh, certain affixes and certain combos. Uh, I fear rogues will be king again. Yep. They, I mean, I don't know. They weren't king in Legion, so I, I don't know. Like, maybe there's some hope, but realistically, uh, what I've seen on the alpha doesn't give me a lot of. Doesn't make me very optimistic, let's put it that way. Oh, yeah, I grabbed this shit already. Uh, is that Angry Keystones? Anyone know what Weekora gives green progress bar? 
Yeah, I, I think it's angry. I actually don't know because I had a Wii Core that did this at one point, and I don't think I ever deleted it. But yeah, I believe it's angry keystones. Yeah, if not, then it's a Wii Core. But I'm pretty sure that's the case. Angry keystone. I feel like we need a new set of affixes, uh, like a full rework. I'm sure it won't happen. Nah, they're not gonna do a full rework, but they did act like they were going to at one point, so I don't know, who knows? Maybe we'll find out someday. Use a health pot there, health, yeah, health pot to get that off. Now these mobs still drop like five sanguines each, right? So we gotta be careful of that. Oh, my fucking boots are breaking? What the hell? Haven't repaired in a while, I guess. Ah, uh, some of your gear is yellow. Yes, thank you. I, I noticed that as well. that guy a chance to get some CDs back or something. This pack will be relatively tough, but it looks like we got the damage. I better save grip, huh? Had to do workshop 17 with a red main weapon on my shaman. No, why is that? I have to say though, I do like being able to skip the steam vent boss in workshop. Right, that's another thing. Being able to skip, skip environmental stuff is really nice in uh, that realm as well. No storm strikes for me. What the hell? Why didn't you just run out and repair? Okay, that guy's just gonna stay dead. They didn't let me. What do you mean? Five, four, three. Uh, Should have waited one more extra second for the pop. Oh well. Using shit pot anyway. Um, buy repair bots, yeah. I need to. Um, sup Metro? Hey Steven, what's up man? Uh, the seasonal effects is always linked to the raid, so the first seasonal effects would be vampire blood related. Oh yeah, I wonder. That's a good point, I didn't even think about what the first seasonal effects will be. Interesting, interesting point. Yeah, so if you remember a couple weeks ago, we wiped mult oh, excuse me, thanks a lot, man. We had multiple uh, keys lost to the last boss with the priest, but that was a disciplined priest. Very hard for them to heal off Grievous, and that fight puts a lot of Grievous on you, I guess, so. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like, but this is Holy Priest, so hopefully better. This guy seems to be doing alright, considering the mess I've put him through at times. Boss dead, and that was easy. I'm gonna save speed here, I always make this mistake. That's fright inducing. Mm. Uh, Metro, what do you think is the best healer for Mythic Plus? Blood, uh, blood Death Blood, blood Death Knight. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Very generous of you to do that. We've gotten a few members recently, so that's awesome. Nobody ever uses the emotes, but I'm glad that, uh, People are doing it one way or the other. It's very helpful. We won't live up to the to the May we had monetary wise, but <laughs> that was like an insane month. We had uh, some huge donations, Daniel and others, and uh, what's his name? A uh, fucking current stream boss, Kyle, as well. Some big big donations that month. All right. So anyway, let's see. We're gonna snap this dude down here. 
This room is a uh, sanguine, a little bit of a pain. It's the guys, big guys, do drop sanguine. There's the fixes or what the, the uh, whatever they're called, the emotes. Uh, well, I wouldn't want an fix that completely changes the route for the first to fix. Uh, it should be something that allows you to learn the dungeon first, but makes certain packs more difficult. I mean, that's what you're describing is what happened in season one, no? But yeah, either way, we'll see. I'm sure we'll see that eventually on the beta slash alpha. Hey Kyle, what's up? How's it going? So far, so good, my friend. We'll, uh, we'll, I'll let you know soon enough. BPS need to learn to not go solo and stay with the tank at last boss TOS because it puts serious drain on healer mana. Uh, what do you mean by that? Not go solo. Yeah, I didn't love Infested, but it was a good first to fix, right? Yeah, I, fixed, I, I think that was like, that was probably the most balanced to fix we had all season. It just didn't fucking work very well. <laughs> it was a little buggy. But, um, yeah, I think that was the best fix we had all expansion. The one that was the most balanced, at least. Some of the other ones were a bit out of whack. Let's put it that way. These are about to drop Sanguine all over the place. More Guardians. Ah, we did it. Let's move. What's going on now? Let's move back to the middle. So we got that guardian sat there somehow, even though I try to aggro it. It's like stuck or something. <clears throat> so we were talking about this over the weekend. Uh, Everybody I know IRL at least cancel has like canceled their vacations and shit that we had planned. What have, what have you guys done? Anything uh, anything to note there? Anybody still going on trips anywhere? Uh, they all split up attacking individual mobs, hit by and get hit by all sorts of things. Well, getting hit by shit that's not related to where you're whether you're with the tank or not. <laughs> People playing poorly, that's a different problem altogether. Uh, no, everyone I know has canceled their vacation. Yeah, same. Uh, my girl and I have to cancel. They, they rechanging our flight to a point to where it'll ruin everything. Oh, really? Hello. Which tank spot is most uh, forgiving for mistakes? Which one is best for beginners? You mean which tank flasks? Um, I would say Bear Druid. Bear Druid would be my pick for that. Can we plus two this? What the fuck is this guy talking about? Anyway, like changing from non-stop flights to day-long layovers, gotcha. Yeah, that's not a not an enviable position. Uh, how's the saying we treat? Yeah, it's so far not too bad, but this this room is actually going to be the hardest part of it right now. You have to try to kill these guys. You have to move these guys so they don't drop saying directly on top of the casters. And that's actually the hardest part of the whole dungeon, if you ask me. For Sanguine. Although the other, uh, some of the other stuff is actually pretty complicated too. Try to keep these in, in good order here though. If you just kind of keep them right against the wall. They will drop it in a good place. Right there, that'd be perfect. Of course we have to move one after the other dies. The rogue actually needs to delete his account. It's crazy. This has happened like three or four times in the last few months where people talk about us not having count. It's like, first of all, that first comment about can we plus two this when there's four minutes left and we haven't even, four minutes left and we have 20% count and we haven't done the boss yet. It's like, 
Okay, you are a noob. But that's fine. But then the count part, it's like, wait, so when was the last time you did this? Season 3? <laughs> How do you not know about this? You noob, bro? Yeah, that dude's noob. Raffle. Raffle. So I edited up the um, thing me and Cop did this weekend. I fucking uh, accidentally, well, I didn't do anything. The, 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 the program crashed and, um, what's going on? The program crashed and I lost all my editing progress. So I had to do it a second time effectively, but I ended up changing the way I formatted it. I changed it to uh, basically, um, I changed it so like whenever we picked up the quest, then the next thing we did was the quest itself. Cause it was like really disjointed that playthrough. Um, so I think that hopefully people will like that. I'm gonna start putting those live soon though. I should make a an announcement about it. But um, yeah, I should make an announcement about it. Just running in 19, sorry, first time, yeah. Anyway, I can barely remember the season one effects with the coons. What did they even do? They tried to infest other mobs. Basically the mob would like heal the mobs around it and then whenever you killed the mob worms would come out and if they got to another mob they would turn that mob into an infested mob as well so oops there already a bunch Beware. of four stacks here let's fight stuff man Yeah, I think it's another wipe. Anyway, that season one of Fix was especially fun when the worms would go through the Toldegore gates. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was actually, like, a bigger deal. Uh, I think people uh, just played it really poorly, but it was also really buggy. Um, hey, Aliador, what's up, man? Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. Anyway, do the ads um, have more effect on Fortified on this fight? I never understood. I'm not sure either. Am I getting actual healing or no? He's just literally not going to heal me. I could use Vamp Blood now, but I'm not trying to waste it if I'm not actually getting any healing from the guy. unlucky. Beware. Actually, does this like help the guy? It might actually be like a good thing that that just happened. Beware. Yeah, I think this dungeon's just a no-go this week, honestly. Just... Way too difficult with Grievous. That's it, right there, that's the key. That's about to wipe, maybe? I don't know, somehow still alive. Um, why didn't he die on purpose to heal the boss? Oh yeah, that was actually probably the play, huh? Beware. Then he would have not used the mana. It comes back with a bit of mana, right? Is that how it works? Hey Tanner, what's up? How's it going, man? It's always told the gore, you can eat in a fixed Grievous. Can you eat in a fixed Grievous? You're asking if you're standing in the affix? Well, like what? Yes, yeah, so you take damage if you stand in the affix. Okay, well at least we salvaged the key. Uh, I'd interesting if on Sanguine when an ally die, uh, he also drops a pool that heals friendlies. That would be cool, actually. 
Oh. Yeah, that would be cool, actually. I think you got this now. Yeah, we did, actually. Decent key week IMO. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. I definitely liked last week more than this week. But in some dungeons, it's not bad. In others, it's terrible. That's the thing. Last week, there was no bad dungeon. This week, there's a lot of really bad dungeons. I, I have to say, this one's getting added to the list. Grievous on this last boss is just a fucking mess. I have an excuse for dying then. <laughs> At least tank has more control, don't have to hope people kill explosives. Nah, tank can kill explosives better than anybody, so. The same, same as last week on that front. Uh, do repair bots still drop sanguine? Oh, I forgot about that, I don't know. See, now we have to be careful of sanguine on this boss, too. I had this happen a couple weeks ago, and I think we almost lost the key because of it. I dropped the sanguine right underneath one of the mobs, and we, it took it takes like a minute before you're able to kill it. Sanguine goes away very slowly. It's like a minute, I believe. No okay. good. Good, that went well. Did I just see purification protocol? That's no, probably just holy fire. That's what it was. Uh, how can you kill a repair bot? You can't. When it when it goes away, it counts as dying. It used to work for reaping too. It used to count as reaping. All right, we did it. Repair bot can repair himself. Junkyard, sweet. Let's do it. But yeah, it happened in Reaping, too, whenever the um, the Reaping shit would spawn. If a repair bot had died during, uh, you know, during the, the, the percentage threshold, a little repair bot Reaping would spawn, too. Which boss are you guys on this week? Uh, we'll be working on Ilganoth again. Had some decent pulls last week, but uh, didn't go that great. Oh, you got him. Sweet. Thanks, chicks. Yep. Oh yeah, I gotta give you a lead back. Alright, we have new bags. Fancy new bags. Right, what's going on? Where did they all go? There's... It's a bit disorienting. I don't know what's going on there. It keeps closing the bag that I had open, I guess. Yeah, that's what's going on. All right, we got some more slots now. That's nice. That will add up. And I guess we just hang on to these old bags. Anyway, uh, good luck on Ilganoth. Thanks, man. You're telling me you could have a dead repair bot as a pet? Oh yeah, you don't remember? We did it. We wanted to get the cannon too, but I never did I never did that. I don't think I have any of those those screenshots still, but I had a bunch of, I had a dog, uh, a, a bunch of funny uh, pets that you can get in season two. It was fun. We got a repair too, let's do that before we forget. All right, we got that done. Let's see if uh, my bank has good bags. It, it might actually already. What's your professions on my main? Uh, this is my main, so it's alchemy. And uh, oh yeah, I already have 30 slots. Is there any reason to hang on to them? Maybe put them in. They're never going to add more uh, bank slots for this, right? Hey, Sven, what's up? Alchemy and uh, herbalism. Hey, Sven, what's up, man? How's it going? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, I guess I'll just vendor them. You can't resell them or nothing like that, right? Soulbound? No. I actually low-key want them to add renaming Warlock Pets to the game, I see. Okay, let's sell all this stuff. Now my potions are all strewn, but... I guess we're gonna scrap this trinket, right? I'm never gonna... A thousand crit? That's not even that much, to be honest. 
I feel like that's worse than other proc trinkets, too. I never noticed that. Oh god, what's going on in this bag? Holy fuck. Uh... What the hell's happened here? It like pushed all my shit up, so I'm like not even sure what's what anymore. I had it all organized relatively well. This is how it was. What is this all-seeing eye? I'm just gonna sell this. Can't even sell it. No idea. I've had it for like six months now. Mogu Strongbox. Is that up right now? Had that key for a while now. Make one of these two. Uh, if you were to go Frost, it would be BIS. Nice. Oh, really? Well, I guess I'll hang on to it then. I might, I might play some Frost here at the end. It's a good trinket for offense. I don't know if it is. I think there's like triggers that do way more actual damage than that. Crit's good for offense, but it's not that good. Um, just throw it in one of these bags. Do we even have room anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Um, inventory is getting to be a bit of a joke. Uh, well, first of all, we gotta restructure this stuff. See, now these are all back to being messy. So that's Twilight Dev. NF a ball, NF a ball. Warlock is a dead. Wait, what? Uh, would you ever consider using Bagnon or one bag? Nah. Yeah, obviously. Warlock, not a dead class, but... Um, ring over here. All the gear that I might switch to is on the right. Wait, is that the, uh... What happened to the other one? Oh no, this is them. Yeah, I, have, I put an ball on them, I remember now. We just have more free slots, I guess, is the thing that's confusing me. There we go. Addy bags is nice. Get it. Alright, cool. So we get, uh, what do we got here? Anyway, um, use Addy bags as well. Sweet, what does that do? Okay, 20 junk here. We can go back to Justice Holler for this. I love classic Blizz bags. Never replace. Yeah, I can't go without my bag out on now. It takes me five minutes longer to find something with fault bags. Gotcha. Sorts your bags. Nice interface. Sweet. Yeah, that's funny. There was a famous moment in this guild's history where uh, some guy like relied on the bag add-ons as well, and then when it broke, in between expansions, he was like freaking out, like literally wouldn't stop talking about it being broken. That's the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid. That's why I try to use as few add-ons as possible. Because whenever there's an update, if something breaks, it really is a pain in the ass. Groups bags into categories. Consumables, quests, trade skills, armor sets. Nice. Can you do that with, uh... I feel like you can do that right now. Sign to bag, equipment, consumable trade goods, yeah. He would log in, ask, yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. It's funny. Anyone know when they're fixing Bagnon? Literally get this question like three times a day. What's the word on the street? I try not to ever be connected to add-ons in such a way after what happened in Wrath. In Wrath, I had this like complete UI basically and it broke when Ulduar came out. So the first night of progression, I was trying to braid with an entirely different UI than I used for all of Nax, and I realized like this is just not acceptable. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't be this hindered the first night of a raid opening. That's just fucked. You know what I mean? So uh, ever since then, I was like, you know what? That's it. I'm gonna just use the default UI and 
only customizable add-ons that won't ever break. Cutting down on add-ons is probably good now that Curse is migrating again. Yeah, I wonder what the fuck that's about. I still don't get that. <laughs> and then like Mixer, all that shit about Mixer is so weird. Weird, weird weekend. Nicholas, have you seen the Mythic Plus timer week or people are starting to use now? I don't know what that means, sorry. Maybe we should try to go do something while we wait, I don't know. You would be surprised that they, it would take a while to fill. But I guess it will. Anyway, um, what can we do? We can go do the assault, I guess? Anyone see the champ's latest training video? Terrifying. Oh, you're talking about, um... What the guys? Uh, Mike Tyson, right? Yeah. He means Mythic Plus Timer add-on. Yeah, either way, I don't know what it is. Uh, add-ons breaking, it's not like 2004 anymore. They start working on add-ons in Alpha and Beta. At the start of the game, it was horrible, yeah. I used that weak ore, it's really smooth looking. Oh, what does it do? What did Mixer do? Shut down. Like, they're fucking closing. Oh, I went to the wrong place, apparently. Yeah, I don't understand why they are moving. Uh, that was the only reason I had, had the Twitch app. I usually watch Twitch in a browser. Gotcha. Yeah, the Twitch app's getting uninstalled the second that shit's gone. The Mixer stuff is absurd, is it? I don't know anything about it. I just heard that they're shutting down. July 22nd, I think it closes, and then they support, then they support Facebook streaming. Yeah, Facebook. Yep. Not a big fan of that company. Let's put it that way. I fucking love Pandaria, though. My God, dude, just flying through the zones reminds me. I wonder if there will be a way to transfer over add-ons. That's not how it works. The add-ons are in your on your computer already. It just registers that they're there. You don't have to. You know, there's no transferring of anything. It just reads the WTF folder and you can tell what add-ons they are because what what's already on your computer. We must drive them back. Hayoshi. Are they already somebody already finished the storm caller? Uh, but I mean I will have to create a new profile. It doesn't matter, it's just who cares? Like five seconds worth of shit probably. Is this one bugged? I feel like this used to be bugged. Twitch sold Curse Forge to Overwolf. They had already sold everything else under Curse Media to Fandom. All Twitch does is make it look easier to use add-ons. They're still in the necessary folders, right? Yeah, I don't think this works. It looks like there's still something here, but it's not, not working. Ninja got 30 million, Shroud 10 million. Yeah, I see these numbers, but where are they coming from? Did the actual person release this info? Because otherwise, it's probably not true. It's a weak ore that does the same thing as angry keystones. The weak ore displays the time left in the dungeon, deaths in percent, I see. Cool. There's a command prompt you can use to manage add-ons as well as weak ores. It's on the competitive WoW subreddit, a command prompt. What? Instant invite, <laughs> yeah. Um, here's the Mythic Plus timer. Slasher, very respected reporter. Yeah, but where is the, like, did he talk to the, the people who actually signed the contract, tell him this? Otherwise it's, how do you know it's real? They will never release the info, exactly. I don't believe that for a second. If that company had 30 million to pay a single individual, then I don't understand how they could have gone bankrupt. Blue sash will me too, sweet man. Whatever you were me too in, good, good, glad to hear it. Hatchery is in here today. It's a really good one to finish off with because you get mad percent just by doing the you like percent plus percent because you're killing all the other bugs. They didn't go bankrupt. And then why are they, what, what do you mean? What, what's actually happening then? That's probably exactly why they went bankrupt. I don't think so. Where would they have gotten the money from in the first place if they did, you know what I mean? 
Oh, that's it already? Okay. Hashtag me too, yeah. Uh, they just pulled the plug because numbers weren't going up and they could not bear Twitch. I see. I can't really bear Twitch either, to be fair, so... It's understandable. Oh, beat. Just beat it. Oh, another hatchery. There's two hatcheries up today? That's crazy. Could probably do the whole fucking thing here. Uh, wasn't Mixer a Microsoft company? Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh god, this guy again. Oh, and that's, uh, what's his name? Alright, this will be an interesting group. Uh, already did when I woke up. <laughs> I'll turn off war mode, what? No, you can just... Anyway, uh, how do I get to Mechagon as Horde? Just transfer the Horde. There's a boat on the right side of the docks. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find, but you probably don't have it unlocked. I'm sure you have to do a quest or something. It's kind of funny, because from the outside, that looks like that dude... Look at look at the conversation. I'll turn off war mode. Actually can't, then leaves the party. But he got kicked. But it's funny, like... From the outside, that makes it look like he's like, Ah, sorry, I can't do this group, because I can't turn war mode off. Yeah, that dude was uh, <laughs> a bit of a fucking clown when we did that uh, mother load. How many manted pieces do I have? Not even close to enough. Uh, well, we have done... Oh, no, there's still these things that weren't up when we came. That uh, tree thing was bugged, so I don't think that's gonna ever going to get fixed. But this one should be up now, yep. Oh, and there's a rare right here, too. Somebody, like, pull a rare down on top of it, probably. Oh wait, no, I'm just an idiot. There was no rare. It's just a swarm caller. What happened with him to slow damage? Yeah, he, he did. He like aggroed a bunch of trash and died to melees as a hunter. Just a bunch of really fucking stupid shit the whole time. Lived up to his name. Let's put it this way. That was actually one of the last keys we did on Saturday. Yeah, like he did. He just didn't misdirect the mobs. He just pulled them, and then they came over and like killed them. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Hey, Robin, what's up? How's it going? Okay, I'm gonna kill this mob, and then we go to junk. Uh, I fell asleep during that stream. I was awake a stupidly long time. Gotcha. Oh, uh, the uh, raid boss just died. That's funny. Uh, so I must have missed it. Yeah, you must have. This respawn's rough. Hate to hold the group up, but I don't want to... Don't want to come back. I have to come back and forget or something. I got a lot of vessels, though. Come on, what's going on here? This doesn't take this long to respawn, does it? Why is there two corpses as well? It's strange. Anyway, not saying your stream put me to sleep. I was awake for 36 hours because builders were messing me about. Oh, no, that's fine, dude. I get it. I get it. You don't have to worry about the semantics. It's his brother. Oh yeah, that's true. His twin came out to die as well, unfortunate. Alright, let's turn this in, then we'll go. Probably still be people here. No, it looks like everybody's here. Wow, Herp, way to be mean. Yeah, fuck man. Really hurts my feelings, guys.
Uh, thanks for the snooze fest, Metro, you idiot. They abandoned that guy. Uh, oh wait, where's this even turned in that? Down here, right? I don't even know. I'm not sure. It's turned in it down here, I think, right? I wish Collins would swing by. That guy made my day. Yeah, fuck that dude. Dude's never allowed back here. He's a fucking coward. Can't talk man to man about his his probably trolling. Then he's a fucking coward, and we don't want, we don't want, we don't want cowards here. Oh god, not again, at Stromy. I know I will train my ability to never sleep. <laughs> How much corruption do you have uh, right now? Uh, I have 36 total corruption, so soon I'll have 33. You have my attention. Another two weeks, I'll be able to add another 10, whatever. Hey Metro, I've been following your channel for a while and thought I'd pop up. Uh, keep up the content. It's great to relax and what and and watch your content. Sweet man, Jack. Thanks a lot for saying that. Bot two man. Anyway, um, I had a soundboard ready for a great Discord debate. I was gonna do my Chris Matthews voice. He ruined my day not hopping in Discord. <laughs> uh, we got that done at least. Uh, what do you use for mitigation as a blood decay? Feel like I need some sort of mitigation to survive certain things. Uh, yeah, that's why people are stacking verse right now. They just have like a bunch of free passive mitigation over the course of the dungeon. But I don't know. The big thing about blood decay is you have to use your CDs a lot and and well. I think it's the bigger thing, not just use them a lot. They have to be used well. Um, so yeah, I mean you shouldn't really need much. If you have, if you have a lot of verse, there's there's nothing else that you would even really want. But if you if you don't have a lot of verse and you're having trouble surviving, I use the. Uh, what is it called? I use Azeroth's Undying Gift quite a lot this season, and it worked really well. So, not a bad option. Luckily, the flying mechanical terror that patrols this region has a control module that can open the gates. Okay, are we good here? Well, let's get going. Would be ill-advised, but disabling its remote power node should render it vulnerable. The nodes are scattered throughout the junkyard. I've calibrated my sensors to detect them when you're in proximity. So we're gonna move around. All right, thank you. Yeah, like bloody can, you know, doesn't I don't know, doesn't really work that way. Like, if you feel like you need to mitigate damage, you're probably playing the spec wrong, honestly. But at the same time, uh, there are a couple of things that you can do. Like, I, that's why I use the trinket a lot. Lingering psychic shell, it's really good. And um, of course, uh, the essence too gave me a lot of a lot of help early in the season. Hey, Tagor, what's up? How's it going? Five, oh yeah, we got warlock. Four. Three, two, one. Now we can go Gunker first again now, no problems. To prevent my father from eradicating all organic life, we need to gain entry into his subterranean fortress city. Luckily, the flying mechanical terror that patrols this region. Uh, I just got a Rizan's I-475 with the sockets. Nice. Not the best trinket out there, but it's cool. But disabling its remote power node should. Okay, let me get all of this shit first, and then we'll get that bot there. The nodes are scattered throughout the junkyard. I've calibrated my sensors to detect them. Prepare to be exterminated. Get the bot. Get the bot. Get the bot. Get the bot. Yeah, it's so hard to click them when there's actual combat happening. All oh, right, sanguine fuck. Rat. Just the one. Actually, relevant DK question. Um, with my DK just starting to gear, I got pants with haste, so I use them over 4:30. Item level is probably still the defining factor, unless you're uh, actually stacking a ton of verse. Like, if you don't have, like, a full, like, if you're basically, if, like, if you're a fresh DK and you don't have the full corruption, item level is still the king, for sure. What, item level from chest, wow, kid? 
Yeah, as long as it's, I mean, it can't be lower than, yeah. It can't be lower than 430, so. Definitely an upgrade, one way or the other. I don't know, man. For fucking 25 item levels, I'm not sure. Verse is important and shit, but I don't know if it's that. How good that is, you know what I mean? That piece would have to have, like, single stat verse on it or something like that, I think. Uh, yeah, I was thinking as much. Also, today I got a 455 from a 10. Also gives 455. Nice. Glad to hear it. Oh, a plus 8. No. Wait, what's going on? You're, you're surprised by how the gearing system works, I guess? Is that... I'm not sure what we're actually talking about, sorry. They haven't changed how that worked all season, so it's it's different than it used to be, though, I guess is maybe what you're surprised by. Plus 8 gives the same as a 10, yeah, that's how it's been. They made 15 the, uh... They made 15 what you're after. Yeah, it's just... Inexperience, I guess. I do not wish to talk about the chest on my main this week. Okay, good. It'll probably save us some, some time reading questions or comments then. Why was I not able to mount there? This route is not going perfectly, it feels like. Needless to say, it was all kinds of awful. Thought we didn't want to talk about it. Uh, is there any extra item? No, no, nothing like that. You get more items themselves, but the item level doesn't change. Like, have you ever watched those dudes do like 27 and shit? It's like fucking like, the, the box has like so much gear in it, there's like fucking like a shoe sticking out of it, like the box can't even close properly. Um, that is all I will say about this subject, good, good. I appreciate that, ma'am. Mobility compromised. Massive toxicity level detected. Okay, I got all this shit. Harder pack here, but Sanguine might actually be the big problem. We'll see. It's hard to tell what is and isn't going to drop Sanguine. Yeah, see that shit. Some of that shit died mad quick. Demon Hunter doing its work. My bot, Assistance finally. Activated. That one too. Guess not. Anyway, oh, Junkyard, this is where I started last week. Oh, this is where it started, yeah. It's true. Won't happen again. I don't think, but you never know. Gotta be careful not to cut him back through uh, Sanguine. Which is a little bit harder than it looks. Just patches here. Any tanking tip for this week's affixes? Nah, nothing. I mean, you could ask more specific questions if you want, but... Not sure what I would say. Try to top yourself off as a blood DK if you can. Just gonna run through that Sanguine? No, good. Use more health pots, I guess, than normal. All right. Hey, Andre, what's up? Glad to see you join the Discord the other day. I've been playing the heck out of my Outlaw Rogue. It's so fun, sweet. Yeah, Outlaw Rogue. Sounds fun. Can't decide what my next leveling adventure is going to be on the alpha, but I think it might be either no spec hunter. I really want to play a blood elf, so 
Maybe I'd do Blood Elf Rogue, but now that we've done that Blood Elf thing, I'd like to do it again, honestly. Mobility compromised. Uh, Combat Rogue is almost 50, grass man. Uh, I think it's... I've been in many different discords over the years. It's hard to find good ones. I think Metro's is a chilled one, though, sweet. I appreciate you saying those words of kindness. I do think we have good conversations in there. Alright, let's gunk. The big gunk. With that creature neutralized, I can deactivate So what's next? Node. It's ready at Trixie. Is that is it gonna change? Oh shit, what the fuck? I almost ran right into that. Is that gonna change? Proceed with caution. Mechagon's war machine appears this to be. This is not a bot course. that I can use. Okay, good. I'll drink to that. Nice TPS, thanks man. Stay out of its sight. That was a big hit of damage. That's kind of why you're sitting here waiting for, for it to happen because you never know when it's going to actually arise. Uh, the community here is alright. It's missing a flood of Preach Gaming videos though. Just leaves a hole in my heart. Oh my god, do you remember that? Alright, run up here. Oh, we don't have Gorfiends. Now let's just pull them. Pull them back the old way then. Unfortunately, that one's not going to come over. Oh, there it is. Hey there, what's up? Welcome. Alright, oh, Sanguine, fuck. Should have saved the grip. I'm losing all interest in WoW, unfortunately. It gets stale, not making any progress. Sorry to hear that. Uh, what else? That's it. Okay, let's get this back then, I guess, real quick. Uh, Raiden needs to drop his helmet this week. Tired of wearing a 465 helmet. Yeah, hopefully we start getting some good gear from Raiden. It's been a while. I feel like we've not gotten a lot of stuff. Three kills now. Beware. It's actually perfect timing. Couldn't go better. Right into the twilight, look at that. Three kills, one slapper, yeah. Five Vitas. Yeah, I guess a few did drop recently. Oh, okay, we're gonna the boss again. Hopefully this resets it, I don't. Never successfully done this. Looks like it does. Wait, what? No. He still hasn't reset. Okay, good. Anyway, yeah, he loves to drop Vita. Void, on the other hand, Vita's the one you want. Once you stop raiding, the interest goes down quickly, I noticed. Oh, yeah. I won't know that, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess. Sanguine gonna be a problem here. Might actually be a problem with the boss too, to be honest.
Hey Metro, hey, your booty, what's up man? Like time no see, how you been? How's things? Uh, new to Bloody K, but watching these streams is really helpful in learning strats and pathings for dungeons. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot, man. A lot. If you have any questions, let me know, alright? Happy to help in any way I possibly can. Fuck. Didn't hit the... the... the bike. Oh, that hit me. Fuck. Not ideal. But we're fine as the tank. Doesn't really matter. And then we're coming right through where we got the boss. And of course, Seinfeld fucking oblivious. What a surprise. Anyway, doing all right, man. Sweet. Good to hear that, dude. Glad to see you. What, have you been up to anything? The interrupts. And we have a Demo Warlock, so we're not going to get an interrupt from him. Okay, good. Whoa, what the hell? I never saw him charge that far. That's bizarre. The Junkers are no longer a threat. I can disable the node. Okay, do I still not have one bot? Which one did I not have? I missed one. They got them all though. I never got the haste one. Not much, been trying to do some gearing for PvP. Oh, cool. Do Warlocks have an interrupt in any spec? Yeah, it's a pet. All three specs have access to it. Just Demo never takes it because it re requires not using their best pet. And uh, the other specs can take it, but... Basically, the, all their, like, they have a bunch of unique utility and it's all tied to pets. Like, the imp can, like, do something. They, they can all do something. I can't remember exactly what all the stuff is, but... It's pretty cool how it works. Just... Falhound has the interrupt? Is that... Yeah, that's the one. Imp can dispel. Yeah, Imp's like a... One of them's like a... a like a... Offensive dispel too, right? It's cool. I'm detecting a power node within that trough I doubt they will... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Alright, Fall Hunter can both interrupt and purge. Nice. Well, that's a pretty useful pet then, if that's the case. Anytime Twilight procs with our essence buff up. Pretty cool. Feels like things are working well. Beware. Just go three for now. I've been pulling like the five, but with Sanguine, plus a little bit shaky on the healing side, maybe we'll take it slow from now on just to make sure. Looks like an easy upgrade as long as we don't have any insane deaths at the end here. The Felhound can offensively purge, and the Imp can dispel yourself. Neat. Yeah, that's pretty valuable, to be honest. Like, That's good utility, man. I don't know. I think only 12% verse away from max. Gotcha. Uh, that's pretty good, I guess. I went from 80% verse with conflict up, and I made the game boring. 22s were no damage. Nice. Sorry, I hear you're having a bad time. 
Impa's really good on three bosses. Yeah, that's pretty nuts that they can actually dispel, uh... Like, nothing else in the game can dispel magic on an actual player. Conflict, yeah, that's true, but no, no base, uh, base class ability can. So I need to do higher keys to keep it challenging, but that doesn't happen because of pugs. I see. Priest max dispel on shadow. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Anyway, holy fuck, this fury has 62k crit. Nice. Sounds good. Depends on uh, the spawn. Rix is probably like 60k HPS on a high key. Yeah, getting both of them to spell is a big deal. Does the imp just the imp can just do it like on an eight second CD as well, like a healer, or how does it actually work? Man, do we like do we lost on nothing? I feel like we lost it on like nothing. Oh, I just AMS that. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that, that was just a reflex from taking damage. Anyway, that warrior probably has crit corruptions, probably. Don't you feel stale from doing the same key? No. Uh, 12 second CD? Oh, that's not bad at all. That's pretty crazy. That's really good, then. That's good-ass utility, man. It's crazy. Four X rank three severs and three rank twilights. Nice, cool. All right, now we do all the obelisks. I will deactivate the note. And cruise to our maybe even double. I mean, it's gonna be pretty close. Oh, nice warlock gateway. Remember when you used to lose all threat whenever you take that? That doesn't happen anymore, luckily. By shutting down the power grid, Tink Master Overspark has turned the hunter into the hunted. The imp can only dispel the warlock? I don't know, I don't think so. But make sure you include a passage about my rugged fortitude. My readers deserve to know that I'm more than just my incredible brain. Wait, what did what's just happened? Why did it not snap? Wasn't far enough? Yeah, I can dispel everyone? Good. That was a good tank breaker, gonna take zero damage from it. In the last second, we might get hit. There's no reason to leave everybody who just left. You just stay in there. All right. Oh, and we have all this shit up. Good. Gotta be careful of saying we know again. You see, Jugs came back just to leave. Oh, the warrior. No, nah, it's it. It's just an end of expansion burnout. Uh, you'll probably be feeling better after Shadowlands comes out. Gotcha. Uh, I just wonder what keeps Metro doing the same keys because I enjoy playing the game. The stream also helps, obviously, but I just enjoy playing the game. Jugs low, yeah, the warrior. I wonder what keeps Tagor wondering. <laughs> I don't know why we have these conversations so often. You never seem to get it's like you don't want to enjoy the game at times. Alright, well, we don't need that much count here, but we do need to clear all this shit out. 
Wait, what the hell just happened? It's just split pulled somehow? I just wonder. Huh? Sap Cutie, yeah, he, he quit for Classic, but uh, I guess he's going to play again in Shadowlands, so he wanted to get his character or something? I don't know. Who knows? I haven't talked to the guy in a long time. Alright, uh, fuck, we don't actually have count. Well, I guess we'll be doing the other obelisk then. I didn't plan on that, but... Kind of overcommitted to that, unfortunately. Wonder I do. Mm -hmm. Still looks like a double, though, honestly. Oh no! Wow, really bad. Didn't know you could fall off there. Oopsies. I enjoy the game, I just want fresh content. You'll have to wait then. Oh no, yeah, really, what's the ponder? If you enjoy the game, that's reason enough. If you don't, then that's reason enough, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I didn't know you could fall off there, but luckily it didn't cause any problems. I thought it might be on the other side of the fucking hill. Like, I thought maybe uh, it was going to be fucked, like we were in serious trouble there, but didn't end up being the case. I uh, just started the legendary dagger quest. It's going to take forever to complete. Oh, really? How come? I don't know. I don't think I've ever done it, but it was really well made, if I remember correctly. It's like a great quest line. That was like when they started making like excellent quests. Um, that was like their first like huge quest I felt like. I don't know how you will recover from that fall there. I mean psychological it could be soul destroying. It's not it's not a big deal. We're good. I thought it was gonna be a bigger problem than it was, but it didn't end up being an issue. I thought I was gonna be like down in Gunker's yard, you know what I mean? Seinfeld offline just in time. DC coming back, good idea. Oh yeah, X bomb and jugs at the same time. That's funny. Yeah, honestly, fuck those guys for real. It's crazy, especially X bomb. That dude is some some kind of fucking weirdo. All right, did you actually die? Yeah, I guess so. Oh yeah, we could summon. Uh, there have been authentication issues. Good luck. He's good. Oh, guess not. Still double this as long as we want phase, so no bots needed. Five, four, three, two, one. Just good pop. Wait, what just happened? Someone came online. Anyway, I really like the strat here, doing all the instances, bosses, save last, and then going for obelisks. Yeah, just how it works out. Locke should have giga damage for the last phase, so yeah. 
There you go. No Rex hit there. Okay, this one. Oh, I heard you call someone a weirdo. I must have missed the context. Yeah, I'm just talking about a bunch of people who uh, basically just like acted like complete fucking retards after Colossa came out. Like this dude was like a, like a, he was like a very active part of the channel. Um, donated a ton of money constantly, and then when I stopped playing Classic, he's like, he like made a post on Patreon saying like. I'm not going to be your Patreon anymore because you don't play Classic. It's like, okay, so all that time that you were doing it when I wasn't playing Classic, you were, what, you just waiting? <laughs> you were hoping that, I, I mean, what, like, what the fuck? I don't know, that kind of shit just, like, it's embarrassing, honestly. The game, I, it, it did, the game it went exactly as I expected to, realistically. Everything about Classic went down exactly as I expected it to, it just at the moment I didn't realize it. Anyway, um, what else? Is that simply for this week, or do you have to do that every time? It was just because of Classic. It had nothing to do with the week. Okay. Well, we double upgraded that. 22. Yeah, we got wall damaging behind enemies. Hey, Vibonacci, what's up, man? Waycrest 22. Time to give it a try if you are. Don't expect much though. Uh, people like that just show you who are the fake fans, bro. I'm also a classic fanboy, but still. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't know. Enjoy the game, but like, trying to act like that is just fucking embarrassing, honestly. It's really weird. That, that whole game is just like a fucking autism trap. Like, I, again, I hate to use that word in jest and in like whatever you'd call it but it's just a fact like it's just the way it is like i read about this the other day too this is another thing um this is even maybe even weirder than what we were just talking about <laughs> thanks chicks um the funniest thing like in pvp in in um classic there's like a fucking like mafia they like they won't let you rank up basically like if you want to advance you have to like prove that you deserve it or something like that and they like tell you how much you should be able to rank up basically i don't know how this works but like they like they like whisper people and tell them like hey that's enough for the week kind of thing it's like what <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about dude imagine if some shit like that happened in, like this is pretty much like everything that goes on in that game is shit that would be bannable like you would get banned for that in in real wow but it's like all completely fine in classic it's so crazy uh, i donate when i'm able benny been around since legion watching you been a great ride yes <laughs> legion man it's pretty nuts man let's do it Uh, I like the leveling. It's the only challenging part. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I can't level on there. It's just way too boring compared to uh, to Shadowlands, especially. I, it's kind of crazy how much fun I'm having leveling characters on Shadowlands Alpha. Should probably turn the fan on though, it's starting to get a little hot already. Be right back. And I'm back. That was not very a long not a very long process. Just in time. Almost flew past the place. All right, so 21 at all. We'll get started with this. Can't see the IO of Genfu, but I assume he's up for it.
You are too late, outsiders. The temple belongs to my master now. Soon, Zul will awaken the Tsar. Then the Troll Empire will rise again. So what about saying we didn't hear anything? I guess the snaps, oh fuck. The double snaps aren't gonna work with Sanguine, are they? How does it work? You can't. I don't, uh, I don't know if you can do it. Are right, we good? I'll lead up. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, that's all we got left cauldron wise. Need to make more cauldrons this week. Alright, here we go. How did I mount up on this thing? Jesus. That's strange. Oh, didn't start the recording. Fuck. You are too late, outsiders. The temple belongs to my master Okay, that, that's now. fine. It's got some weird animations to it, but I still started it nonetheless. Then the troll empire will rise again. Probably should have used Howler on the pole here. Let's just use it since less is still going. Oh, that's good. Get early on the bubble, I think, no? Yes. It looks like it did about 5% of that person's health in fall damage, so that's funny. Didn't know there was fall damage, honestly. That was almost really bad. Luckily, he's a warrior. If you get feared up the steps, I've, I've seen this happen before. People get feared up the steps, and then the boss fixates them, and he runs out of the fucking playable area, and it resets. Hey, Brandon. Thanks a lot, man. Happy reset, bro. Yeah, you're right. I would, I would say so. Thanks a lot for five bucks. Very generous. I would just say I messed this one. Oh yeah, I wonder. So I wonder if like Razan and shit are gonna be. What do you guys? So what do you think about that? If you didn't see the other side dungeon, do you think they're gonna try to make like more shit like that where? I definitely think Vol'jin's gonna be like a main character this expansion somehow. I don't know what you guys think about that, but uh... I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Razan and Rastakhan or something like that in the expansion somewhere. Was a well, I think we'll at least get them started, the snap. And then jump off or something. I don't, I don't really know what we're gonna do here, but... It seems like it's still worth it, especially as fortified. Failed to interrupt. Okay, we'll have to move them soon now. We'll have to move them. Nobody's interrupting for some reason. Anyway, Metro, I have a guess. Jailer is not a bad guy. Arbiter is a villain. Yeah, yo, it was you maybe who said that the first time, but somebody said that in our last alpha stream too. Very interesting concept. Uh, I want to see Deathwing being in the Maw somewhere. We could interact with him. That would be cool, Deathwing. Cool character. 
I just want to know which tank will be top in five mans. Yeah, well, the five mans will have to be out before you all know that, but right now, Brewmaster's looking really strong defensively, and Blood DK and Prop Pally are looking really strong utility-wise, so we'll see. Uh, after seeing those legendaries, though, I have a feeling that them plus Soulbinds will have a bigger impact than everything else put together. We will find out together. Arbiter theory was me, was it you? Well, it seems like a lot of people have the same theory. All right, blob time. Uh, Blue's been doing a great job recently. Uh, with tank balancing, so I don't think any tanks will have issues. You're right, actually, to be honest. Well, pretty much the last year of WoW, uh, tank balance has never been better. In my opinion. I don't know when. Like, if, it, if you don't think it's good, that's one thing. But if you think it was better some other time, I don't know when that would be. Hey, Jorvrak. Jorvrak? Jorvrak. What's up? How's it going, man? How we doing? Only thing not balanced is spell reflect. Yep, pretty much. One outlier amongst all different types of content, and that's just a single spell, so pretty good. Uh, it just feels like the jailer isn't the main threat. Yeah, it, it does kind of feel that way. Either, either that or they're just setting the character up poorly, but uh, it does kind of feel like he's just not really that big of a deal, right? That's kind of the way it feels for me. Okay, good. Get this dude here. Oh, perfect timing too. The Arbiter sounds more like the bad guy. Uh, anyway, Deathwing was called the Breaker after all, and who's to say he didn't break the Arbiter once he arrived? I don't think Deathwing's gonna be like a main character, but maybe he'll make a cameo. I think they're going to try to avoid making the old main characters main characters again. Like the old evil characters, that is. Um, it's the Jailer is Sylvanas' minion. No clue I would incite, what I would cite is what, uh, wait, the clue I would cite is what Vol'jin said to Sylvanas before he died, about characters who weren't written yet, I don't know about that. I wouldn't be citing things from <laughs> shit that's not written yet, you can look at Game of Thrones for why. Unfortunately for many fans. Jailer seems like someone's just doing his job. He's just a jailer. I mean, come on, guys. He's just a jailer. Don't give him such a bad rap, dude. He's not trying to kill the universe. That's you. You're trying to kill the universe. Uh, what I'm wondering is what happened after the death of Ysera that broke Shadowlands. Was it the stabbing of Azeroth? No, it was the, the shit with Sylvanas and the jailer, presumably. Are the affixes better than last week? I don't know. I didn't really mind last week, but some people think they are. For me, I don't think they're particularly better, but they're fine. Sanguine I'm not a big fan of, and Grievous I definitely dislike in some dungeons. The problem with this week I feel like is that there are dungeons that are really bad. Whereas last week I don't think there was a single dungeon that was like, oh, holy fuck, not this place. You know what I mean?
Alright, we gotta release my pet too, which isn't isn't the best. This this strategy is like not great, but uh I do feel like it's the safest route to go. No deaths here, you know? Very, very difficult trash coming up, so wanna play it as safe as possible, I feel like. Anyway, I think this week is more free for DPS, a bit more work for tank and healers. Yeah, I think that's why everybody thinks it's going to be a good week, because they don't have to actually do anything again. Back to just doing nothing as a DPS. It's funny. I've been pulling one more pack living side and having someone pull this pack away. Oh yeah, like not pulling this pack at all. This pack's easy to kill for me at least, but uh if we're not gonna if we're gonna fuck around with it, we should just not do this obelisk. Oh, plus it's spider, yeah, maybe we should have thought about that. Didn't realize this one was spider. Good, that went very well. They just run up here. Not really that big of a deal for this one. That was going. Taking like a really weird route to get to me there, you see that? Things aren't blowing up very quick. Who is our money on to Zerg down their totem? Hopefully nobody. Seem to have all three good damage healers. Competent damage healers at least. Money is on the Warlock Infernal. Fucking Inferno is just gonna go reap mode. Just gonna turn the totem into dust. Bones into dust. Good start. Is this the one he said he was gonna get? Beware. Beware. Put them dots up on everything. Get ready to interrupt again. Boom, look at that interrupt. Come on, guys. You gotta say one of the best interrupts, right? Come on. Come on, boss. Why are you even trying to cast? Your eyes are closed, according to the Zoth. We should do a dungeon. Oh, I just twilighted the fuck out of that. Uh, yeah, we should do a dungeon with no, uh, no look, no look dungeons. Blindfold dungeons. I've always wanted to do that with WoW. Yeah, that was relatively closer than I thought it was going to be, but we did well. I think we're on good pace here, guys. Things, things are looking pretty good here. As long as something stupid doesn't happen on the other side. To be fair, that pack is still pretty dangerous, even on, uh, even on this week. So you just run up in here. Throwing snowballs interrupts anyone. Oh yeah. It's a bit too warm for snowballs. It's gonna be in the 90s today. They would melt. It'd be funny if you somehow like had snow and you just took it outside. I'd like to see how quickly it melts. You're on pace to be under timer by two minutes. Nice. If things don't fall apart here, I think we'll have some good good chance. Big pack coming up though, it's gonna be tough. Master, 
gonna build me a I always have a chance of fucking this up somehow because of the pet, but we just gotta mount up. I think that's the answer. But when you die, there will be no coming back. They're there. Now let's get going. Oh, he's stunned. So I wasted my interrupt. Spelling too early or something? I don't know what happened there. Hopefully we just kill this one quick. Rune weapon's still very applicable here, we'll use it. Interrupt that hex. Takes a lot of deep guess out of the picture, so you definitely don't need to do it. Don't want to have it if you don't have to, since there's only the one mob at the time. It's a very good choice to interrupt that. Okay, cool, that went about as good as that's going to go. Everyone about to open 475 Gatiku? <laughs> Maybe, dude. Good luck. It's the worst part of the dungeon right here for me somehow. Probably get up on this ledge. Wish me luck. No, I, I refuse. You don't need luck. So I don't understand why they're still jumping. Did they like fix this then or something something wrong on my end? Just a threat problem, I guess. Is that what's going on? I'm a little cautious with the pet there. I didn't want to fuck that up. You lost the rep multiple times. I mean, it looked like it was the second I pulled them. They snapped away from me, so... That's the case. That's not my fault. I don't know. I don't lose that... I don't lose threat that often on normal packs. I'm not sure why that'd be happening on this pack. Okay. I almost just fell. Oh, yeah. Let's just... Stop fucking around. It's like we're gonna have to... I don't know. I don't know. These packs are retarded. Anyway, do you know how to use I beam as soon as you pulled them, right? Do you know how to pull thread died? Snap got messed up. Sign then pulled thread off the rest of the pack. Yeah, I don't know. Can't uh, can't do this if people are gonna keep pulling threat. That's what it should look like every time. That's really good. I think we can just can combine here.
Oh, that's the wrong pet. Fuck. I'm trying to target something that doesn't exist. Hey, yo, what's up, man? Stereo, how's it going? Yeah, this pack went really poorly. I guess I shouldn't have combined here. She's just taking it slow, I guess. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Why is this taking so long to die, either? Pretty much. I feel like we just lost the key because of this pack. It's kind of crazy. The pack just took us like five minutes to kill somehow. Not really sure why. Cool. Holy fuck, man. Oh boy. A tall timer is so tight. It is when people keep dying of fire and just, this is, yeah. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. We had like an easy upgrade on our hands and we just started acting like fucking retards all of a sudden. It's embarrassing. Still got a good chance at it though. Just need everybody to actually be here so we can kill stuff. Am I getting healing or just double health stone and shit? Fire's still hot. Get a fair amount of magic damage from that. It gets a good AMS, but it's a bit overused now. I feel like that was useless. He wasn't casting anyway. Good work with the Juggernaut. Okay, well that was clean. Pretty clean. Wow. That was a lot of damage at the end there. I feel like they made the fire intentionally have a tiny gap between the top two to kill people. Right, they did, but it's not... It's a fucking environmental mis me mechanic. To die to that more than like once in your life is pretty ridiculous. Pet in a minute as well. I did Metro C Nathanos news. Uh, I saw the Wowhead stuff, if that's what you're talking about. Was there more? What the fuck is going on right now? Having more success this week? 
Oh, we've only done like three keys so far. I'll let you know on Saturday. Okay, we can't keep using battle reses on the easiest fight in the game. I have to save this last one. We're gonna have any chance. Guess we'll have to do tank breaker on last boss. for killing the priestess you have only succeeded in strengthening my home um what else i think the versa corruption made all tanks viable in mythic plus nice anyway no way you time it yeah we'll see impressive you made it farther than i thought but I will still be drinking your blood. The boss itself will only take about three minutes, just depending on the rest of the shit that we have to deal with. Holy fucking Christ, man. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. We literally depleted this key because of fucking environmental mechanics. Like, what the fuck is this group doing? And that's embarrassing. Anyway, um, verse percent made spirit bomb viable again. Enough said. Nice. Hate to see it. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Thought we were gonna have our first 21 Atal upgraded, and then we had like seven deaths to environmental me mechanics. Even the healer dies, yeah. <laughs> Now it's definitely over. Okay, it's the obelisk. Somebody dead already. What a surprise! Environmental mechanics. Holy shit. They don't, they're not like both moving at the same pace, so it's like really complicated to time death strikes properly when they're not both in range. Uh, it's almost dead, to be honest. Yeah, dead, dead. That's, that's an unfortunate overlap. Well, we gave it a try. If the skewer and the tank breaker mechanic hit at the same time, you're gonna pretty much things are gonna be very difficult. Let's put it that way. Uh, to be fair, a split second you had a death strike to save you. Sure, but either way, very very difficult to survive that. I was gonna say you're getting lucky. No, not lucky. Unlucky. That's unlucky that that happens in that way. Video games? Okay. You're right about this. Hey, what's up, Luca? How's it going? Purgatory there, but I understand you do not like the talent. Yeah, wouldn't wouldn't take purgatory just for just to make up for the fact that we had like seven deaths to environmental damage on a key. Should have been fine, just played poorly but also got unlucky. They were split up even a uh, one more second. It would have been enough for me to react enough uh, with enough time in between. But it was basically like back to back, and I kind of maybe I panicked. I don't know, but it was very, 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 very close to each other. So. No pet. Yeah, more. That's gone. That's it for the key. One way or the other. Let's pet stand in here now. We 
Man, it's crazy how long he's taking to die here. That's because we lost it, I guess. Alright, last boss. No pet, but we kill that and get count afterwards Four, somewhere. Three, two, one. A boss will be a lot easier now. Uh, the locked is pretty solid damage. Yeah, it's good damage was was fine in this key. The the numbers were fine. At least we got 21 done already. Presumably. Still plenty of time for it to fall apart. Oh, we're breaking the spiders. Not ideal. Warriors, a pretty cool name. Seinfeld, do you like the name? That's Daniel from the chat. Spider right on top of me there. This dungeon is definitely easier on Fortified though. I just wish it wasn't Sanguine. That was a lot of problems with Sanguine. This last boss is just so fucking long on Tyrannical. Might as well run through that one, it's the only one over on that side. Alright, that's it, one more set of things. Perfect timing, get the dodge. Anyway, I did 22 total to go yesterday and we had 6 minutes left for last boss and Helio would... Helio trolled the key by tying the boss and instantly dying to melee. Most bizarre thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Probably didn't do it on purpose, but you never know. Alright, we need some count here. For whatever reason. Well, I know what reason. I don't know where the pet goes, though. That's the confusing thing. Pet's just gone. Should just need one mob, right? Just one mob. I think we could actually pull this alone. Yeah. Um, it went back to where you got it. No, I know, but it used to, like, it. you've seen the inconsistencies, I'm sure. Doesn't always do that. I don't know why. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just standing there. I think it might, maybe, maybe it's something to do with dying in the obelisk realm or something. I don't know, but. Well. Wipe, wipe on the last boss was really only really only happened because we had so many deaths elsewhere. Okay, that's that. Wow, really? Is that overall? What the fuck? What the hell? 75k, what? It's kind of weird. Socketed haste first legs, oh. Uh, this is 193 versatility though, so. Don't think it's worth it. Uh, plus I don't have the corruption to put on it, so. Anyway, thanks for the key string there, my friend. See what else is out there.
Not too bad. We got a couple. We got a 21 done already, so that's good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you can trade those legs to me, no problem. Unfortunately, you can't, yeah. But, uh, I've been in the group and in the region. All right, 20 siege. See, there's no good keys right now. We're stuck with 19s, unfortunately. Nineteen kings rest. Wouldn't mind that too much. Yeah, thanks for the runs. Fire's still hot. Yeah, I can't. I fucking can't believe we lost that key over environmental damage. That's so crazy. I have to make like a, a clip of all the deaths to environmental damage on that key. Uh, well, I don't know. Workshop's not that bad this week. Because all the good people were too scared to push last week, which is odd. Yeah, it is strange. I don't know. People, like, literally are just... They don't play the game unless it's uh, an easy week, which is kind of the opposite of what I think is... <laughs> it's kind of weird, because that's, like... For me, that would be the, the one time I wouldn't do it. I only need one DPS. It doesn't seem to be the case. Anyway, let's just sign up for... Well, what would be the easiest? See, I really don't want to do these keys. Let's sign up for some of these 19s, and if they uh, don't commit to doing the 20, then I'm not going to stay. Not as impressive if your best keys are on easy weeks. That's why there definitely needs to be a, a fixed score. No matter what, I don't see how Raider IO doesn't understand that, of all things. Like, I understand some of the things I say about Raider IO systems are, like, a bit, uh... Maybe a bit fringe, but that has got to be that's got to be implemented, right? Like, there's no possible way that that shouldn't be implemented at this point. On the bright side, Blizzard did their job. They made you fail with those mechanics. Yep, it was definitely Blizzard who did their job. All right, well, we got a verbal commitment from the group leader, at least. It's so, honestly, it's getting, like, very frustrating. It's like, all right, let's go sign up for this key, and then we upgrade it, and then all of a sudden the dude's like, oh, sorry, I can't, uh, I can't play anymore. <laughs> Pushed a tall 21. They were super happy with my tanking, added me and stuff. You're definitely in for the free old 22, and then they go deplete it with a random tank and ask me to join the 21 again. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh boy, look at that comment. Resto Druids have Typhoon, right? Welcome to BFA, my friend. Been a good expansion. You've missed a lot. What is, uh, Typhoon is related to Bombkin, right? Well, it's maybe the worst comp I've ever seen. DPS-wise, Warrior, Shadow Priest, Rogue. I bet they depleto it with a Prot Warrior. Mm. Anyway, it is a talent choice for Resto, yeah. But in Shadowlands, it will be a, a talent choice that's attached to Bombkin Affinity. Won't be a problem for Resto to take it though, but the other tank specs, they'll have to choose. Resto keeps Ursul's Vortex, is that the... That's what they keep. Feral keeps nothing. Feral has no, uh, no utility at all, I don't think. Oh, actually, maybe they get, maybe they get Stampeding Roar. No, I think Stampeding Roar is baseline again for all druids, right? I think that's the case. Do this real quick. That's Urban. Well, that's nice. Winter's Kiss. Alright, here we go. Crush this 19. Then we do 20, hopefully. What's shaking? All aboard! The greasy eels leaving port! Last night at Waycrest 22, comment, ha, bloody cake can survive now, averse, finally, huh? 
I decided to pull four groups and my party members died except me. I said, yep, yeah, Blood Decay survives now. <laughs> yeah, like, you could actually, like, solo shit nowadays as Blood Decay. Like, honestly, I should probably do some more soloing here at the end of the expansion. Because now with this verse, I think it's actually, like, probably the best possible time to solo Mythic Plus. Trying to figure out what my last 14 corruption will go to at the end after I get 9, 12% verses. Thinking avoidance. Any thoughts? No, I don't know. No thoughts. Whatever. Avoidance sounds good. Don't be shy. Ah, potential customer. 14 corruption is not. Can't really do much with that, right? Why not just have one more? I'm, maybe I'm a little confused about the situation. After I get 9, 12% verse. You're talking like in September or some shit? Wait, I'm dumb. All of my... Yeah, that's what I'm confused by, yeah. Yeah, Oh, I just didn't sleep well at all last night. I don't know if I've been sleeping well. This just end, they will buff all corruption at the very end of BFA. Are you being serious or what? Let's see. Full verse is done in, I think, eight weeks. So, yeah. Maybe seven. Crawling. Good one. Uh, are we ready? Not using food and shit. I had like four hours sleep, hence the two deaths by fire, gotcha. I slept long, I'm just not getting good quality of sleep anymore, it seems like. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Five. Honestly, that Warlock game, yeah, that was Three. definitely a bait, two. but One. still. <laughs> Should not need a Warlock, like, why would there ever be a Warlock eight there? From eradicating all organic life, we need to gain entry into his subterranean fortress city. Luckily, the flying mechanical terror that patrols this region has a control module. Wait, can you hear the music though or not? I don't know. Hey Metro, I love your streams, even though I'm a DPS and a healer. Sweet, well that's awesome. I'm glad that you like it. Oh yeah, thank I mean. Oh that actually worked out really well. Uh, you should have seen me walk straight into Bunker Puddle last night. Jix and the group had a good laugh. Into Bunker's Puddle? What's that? Oh, Gunker, you probably mean, yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Kind of sucks knowing other than box upgrades or tertiaries, I'm 12% from max power that I'll have. Gotcha. I played the game during much bigger famines of power than that, so I'm not worried about it. Gunker, before you cleanse the bots, that's funny. How'd that happen? No mercy for you. The city's entrance is located just past this arena. You must hold your ground until we can clear a path to it. No sweat, pal. I'm putting twenty large on Let's get start. Fortunately that one is uh covered. He's like, I wonder why what this does as I'm mid sentence saying don't do that. <laughs> That's funny. But you just get turned into a blob, right? A slime blob thing. I hate that. That really is a huge pet peeve of mine. When the group leader doesn't invite a lust and then says, say someone lust. It's like, dude, it's your responsibility. You're the fucking group leader. You should have invited a bloodlust. Jakes, you just replace one amp for a surging to increase your corruption. Yeah, that's true. Probably the best option. Beware. Uh, it's one too many, Tagor. Oh, really? 
That's why I have drums now in case the leader decides not to lead. Even if I have drums, I wouldn't pop them. Fuck that. If you're that minimally committed to succeeding in your own key, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything about that. Anyway, we have 14 extra under 60 at the end. Searching would be 15, yeah. You'd have to take two off and then use a higher rank of uh, surging. Ever thought about tanking as a warrior? Nah. Blood DK is my main. We did do a fair amount of Brewmaster um, in Season 3 though, mostly because we were testing out a funny little concept where we did keys without essences. What do you mean we don't cap at 135 corruption resistance? Uh, not to be rude, but I think uh, I easily spend 50000 on drums in BFA because mages and other classes who have access to this are not using it. Oh, that's not rude. That's just fucking <laughs> the facts. I mean, that's the thing, man. It's so stupid. Like, uh, these fucking classes who, who can lust don't lust. Like, sh like Hunter. Hunter's the one that really pisses me off. It's like, I, I tr press, trust me, I promise the one global it's going to take for you to manage your pet. Is gonna be worth the extra five percent haste for the rest of the party. He's doing like long division or some shit over there. I don't know what he's doing. Typing a bunch of numbers and a bunch of words that don't mean shit to me. When this, I don't have any of my lust bat. Yeah, that kind of shit just fucking bothers the hell out of me. It's also fine to not have Think From Beyond and Cooler Transmog not affected by corruption. Transmog, yeah, that's the big, the big concern. Or take the CR essence away. Oh yeah. Uh, if you do not use Bloodless Pet as a hunter because you really want the Spirit Mend, uh, you use at least Drums IMO. At least I do it on my Hunter Alt if needed. Yeah, you can just swap. That's what I'm saying. You do it, and then swap for the rest of the fight. You can use the pet you want. It's basically like one, maybe like two globals worth of time. Four, three, two, one. We got drums now. Even though we just used them in a terrible spot. Actually, I don't know. Is that a bad spot or not? Anyway, uh, what? The shirt removes all your corruption resistance? My DPS has actually increased ever since I changed to a different sword transmog. Oh, that's interesting. Does it actually fix? Uh, how is that warrior so low in DPS? I don't know. Uh, and what's up with all the hunters not using traps and flares, etc.? It's like everyone rerolled hunter lately. Uh, only for pure DPS. Like, yeah, they're not interested in actually like playing the class properly, right? I feel ya. Hunter's always been like a jack of all trades style utility wise. So, like, it, it is upsetting when the utility they have isn't used well because it's kind of. It's not very strong. It's just very voluminous. Like, they have a lot of different options and a lot of answers for a lot of different things. So, it is a bit upsetting when they don't use it. Did they, like, fix this? Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Not even able to hit him with Blood Boil anymore. The trash drop from the reclamation rig. How do I only know about this now? How do you get this shirt? Hmm. 
Mm, that's unfortunate. Anyway, one time I had a great hunter who literally uh, kited Abo's boss with their pet when we boosted an undergear tank. It was so awesome to see what they can do. That's awesome. That does sound cool. I got beam up. What? Oh yeah, he's the shadow priest. I keep thinking he's the healer. I'm like, what? Why is that thing still alive? <laughs> 48k. It's funny. What is the best way to farm the shirt? Go to JC Pennies or something? Buy it. Which shirt? That dude's trying to pad his numbers. He's like, hey, I'll handle this part, guys. You guys can save all your DPS for next dungeon. Uh, I still potted in combat, Rip. Thought I timed it properly, but I guess not. Orange mage weave shirt, yeah. Not sure I ever thought about taking part in the MDI, no. No interest. You would need a set group for that too, I think. It's harder to pug your way into the MDI, I feel like. What do you think? Attention, citizens. Please remain in your domiciles. Guards are currently en route to quell the disturbance. I'd be a little careful with Sanguine here too because if they uh, die right where the spots spawn, it's kind of difficult to move the second step. That shit would spice up the MDI though. And here we are guys in the finals and what is the craziest, potentially the craziest storyline of this MDI is that one of the teams is a pure pug, no voice group, and they're gonna do, and they're gonna compete for fifty thousand dollars, guys. This is insane. The first time this has ever happened. Not <laughs> funny with that. Any teams randomly generated? That would actually be interesting. Yeah. Metro's gonna be PVP main, Blood DK in the tournament. Am I right? Oh yeah. Maybe. Me and my boy Matt are making an MBI team as soon as Blizzard lets him enter. <laughs> They broke his game about a year ago. Yeah, he's still struggling figuring it out. He dropped the dungeon quest that was uh, the weekly a couple weeks ago. Now he can't figure out how to get in dungeons. I would love to see such MDI. Yeah, it'd be really cool. Show me. Ha 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 ha. That's funny. Coordinating five plus kick targets on mass pulls with no voice. It'd be tougher. Okay, not not a great sanguine placement, but I think it'd be fine. My boy Matty Thick playing Shadow Priest. We're basically meta. Matty Thick. Beware. The Pug MDI. Every team is formed randomly. That'd be really cool, right? And what's this? Another shock, folks. Oh fuck, Helen. Another shock, folks. Matt has DC'd on the first pull. What's this? He's now complaining in random guy's stream that the mob broke his internet. <laughs> yeah. I want to see an MDI with non-meta comps and see what they can do. Well, yeah. they they make the meta, so that doesn't really work. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Hopefully I don't lose threat. I didn't really do a lot of damage. Should be able to snap him over here. Tank went straight obelisk, and the fire mage is her thing. <laughs> that's pretty... Dude, how funny with... Dude, oh my god, that is so fucking funny. What the hell? Kaelin, that's the funniest thing I've heard in lockdown. 
That would be funny as fuck. Like that. That's like an MDI thing. Like, the fucking the the route causes the group to disband and lose the MDI. You know what I mean? How funny would that be? I want to see an MDI where the teams get no practice. They've already practiced, so that wouldn't work out. be so fucking funny dude a pug mdi and like the the group just doesn't agree on the route and they just disband <laughs> dude, that would, holy fuck dude that would be the funniest thing ever what the fuck oh my god dude we gotta we gotta organize this oh my god yeah we're not gonna have lust for this boss this is not good we should have not come out here we should have waited oh well have you ever been recognized by random pugs yeah they just dismashed in 19 and 20 minutes instead of 10 minutes. Matt is locked back in, but he can't find the entrance even though he's already in the dungeon. <laughs> oh man, poor guy. Okay, Method has brought triple fire mage in a strange turn. And what's the tank is going to the obelisk? This should be interesting. Uh oh. The portal's going down. <laughs> they wouldn't hurt. They would just drop a portal. And that is it, guys. Portal 2 Iron Forge, ha Iron Forge has been cast. And that is going to be it for this, this event. We believe Method will take this match. Anyway, a pug MDI that cannot communicate with each other because they are not able to find a common language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's actually probably happens in EU all the time, right? How many... What do you, what do you think? As an EU player... What is the percentage of people that don't actually speak English? Not that like speak it poorly, that like literally cannot communicate in English. I always wondered that. Because in the United States at least, it's only it's only Spanish. There's, nobody really speaks, like there's a little bit of French, but very, very rarely. Well, it's Chinese too, I guess, but yeah. It's mostly Spanish, like 90% of the people talking is like Spanish or Portuguese. But in Europe, there's like 10 different, at least, no, there's probably like 20 different languages, right? You should organize your own type of MDI challenge with your viewers. It would be funny, yeah. One dude screaming in Russian while another is crying in Italian. You think only 3% Exora? Far too many do not speak English at all. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, that works out pretty well. What corruption do you think is best for Bloody K and High Keys? The versatility ones, for sure. Uh, they, there are only, there are some only German and French Russian groups. That's interesting. Hector needs to be a pug MDI caster. Yeah. <laughs> Brazilian teams kind of speak like oh right saying we they kind of speak like dogs instead of woof woof it's different style of jaw jaw we need to have Metro as an MDI caster uh, I've tried casting in the past I'm not great at it I never know what to say I cannot say that in percent but I do avoid Russians mostly because don't know got bad experience with them that's the way I feel about a couple realms on US so don't feel bad about it. Guys, we gonna drink up? I, I guess not. Let's do your own joke MDI where we fail like tens. <laughs> it's funny. Latest rage in groups is against the German speakers. English raging when they see German. Oh, really? Well, it's probably because of like World War II or something or what? A couple realms like you aren't talking about Rag, Azralon, and Area. Area. Area 52 is fine, but yeah. Sanguine's gonna kill that. We're gonna stop it from dying more so. Oh, cold dead. That's pretty good. 
Yeah, that went pretty well, honestly. I never play with guys who don't understand English. Maybe some Russians don't speak English, but if you play with Russians, you are lost anyway. Unlucky. I prefer to play with French rather than Russians or Germans, even though I'm Russian. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. You heard it uh, from the horse's mouth or whatever. The phrases. Russians and High Tinker Mechatork on Discord. They were yelling pink, pink all the time to me. They went purple. <laughs> I usually oh, there's a mop. There it is. I usually use Flay Star T D for raid, but I'm gonna try full verse. Sweet, yeah. It will be interesting to see actually. I do think a lot of people are like they think that being high verse is like zero DPS, but that's not true at all. <laughs> you potentially have like seventy plus percent extra damage for you know, maybe the the whole run, you know, the whole fight. So X dies to Surging Rush and the crowd goes wild. I think EU would be better for language barrier though, because at least in some countries, even if, yeah, that's true, they do, they, they teach their kids English a lot more, right? In EU, Draenor and Kazakh have bad players. I'm set up for 100% single target with Crucible and Krog Tusks. Nice. Pink versus purple confusion. Is it like some normal confusion or what? I don't get it necessarily. Alright, easy upgrade, maybe a double. Close, won't be, won't be that close. Just because they're usually taught more than one language, yep, I agree. Wish there was a good passive single target damage trinket. Yeah, there isn't one. There used to be one, I don't know why I ran out of that. There used to be one in Legion, right? There's so many good trinket options in Legion, but BFA trinkets seem really shitty. Okay, that works out well. Cyclotronic. He said passive. Enter my realm and prove your worth. Uh, Zach Louis, Louis or something? How's it going? Louis? I don't know. Thanks a lot for the sub, man. I think I saw someone fly away. Oh, really? Maybe. Just everybody went in and I was still in combat, so I couldn't, uh, couldn't click. Uh, Spider was such a pain last week with explosives. Yeah, no doubt. I'm so hungry, man. My fucking food schedule is all fucked up, uh, too, because I ate, like, really early on Sunday. Everybody else is like, oh, it's 1.30, I'm starving. Should have just not ate. I don't know why. what I was thinking, eating that early. It's going to be, like, multiple days now before I get back on track. Anyway, your trinket video was interesting. Appreciate your hard work, sweet man. Glad you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or anything, well, let me know. How many cauldrons do you need for raid? Uh, three per night, yeah. Are you gonna make him? You have rank three? I have 11 on me, so. If you don't have rank 3 and don't have the proc, don't make them. It's not worth it. I'm not making the alchemy stone, no way. 
Anyway, Bloody K with pure verse compared to Demon Hunter Warrior's crap DPS. But okay, it's nice for our healing. I test a lot of corruption, trinkets, etc. Inspired by you, around 22 and 23 keys. Sweet. I have to agree, trinket video opened my eyes to a lot of things I hadn't considered. Alright, good. Good to hear it. Uh, finally, someone giving credit to Demon Hunter DPS as a tank. Wait, who hasn't? I've been giving him credit the whole expansion. What are you talking about? I still look at Demon Hunter DPS as the second best DPS tank, or Demon Hunter tank is the second best DPS tank. If it wasn't for Spell Reflect, I think it would be a lot closer than people realize. Spirit Bomb is one of the strongest DPS globals that any tank has. Thunderclap is only higher because it's so buffed by so many different things. Okay, wow, I almost got knocked off there. I don't know how. Spirit Bomb is only like 22% of my damage. Right, you can't use it as much as Thunderclap, that's my point. If you were able to use Spirit Bomb as much as you could use Thunderclap, it would be, yeah, it would be doing the same amount of damage pretty much. Thunderclap is a Twilight Devastation with Avatar, simple as that. Okay, I have to go now. Alright, see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. We'll be live again on Thursday at some point. Not sure when exactly, but some point Thursday. Didn't want to risk getting knocked off or get hit by that stuff, so we just AMS there. Or whatever, uh, disadvance there. Getting a lot of damage, though. Guy's like completely out of mana, almost. Not quite, but somehow out of mana on a 19 fortified. They had just missed the two chests. Basically, if we didn't uh, fuck around with that obelisk, if people didn't go in and die, we would have probably two chested this. Double upgrade. It was on the horizon. Just kidding. Anyway, I told my guild about the bots in Junkyard for buffs, and they completely disregard them. I'm the only one getting the buffs. What the fuck? What are you doing, like a four or something? Yeah, will they do the 20 afterwards? Let's find out. So has my father. You have my gratitude, heroes. Know that King Mechagon's vision of the world is not one my people share. We must now focus on rebuilding. But if you ever require our assistance, you need only request it. Huh, this partnership wasn't that okay. bad. Me His defense now. Grievous can make uh, make a bit feel... Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Anyway, I have been out of the loop for a patch or two. I still haven't heard much talk about bear tanks. How are they in the state of the game with corruptions? Yeah, they're probably great too. I, I, to be honest, I haven't heard much about them either, but... Uh, yeah, they're probably great. But pretty much all six tanks are like... Probably 50% more defensive than they ever could have been. Or ever were right now because of corruption. It was on a 9 and nobody got the buffs from me. That's pretty embarrassing, honestly. But, what the fuck? But I don't know how much a uh, Shockbot even does on a 9, so I don't know. Get moving. But yeah, you'll have to you'll have to give him the business. Check Discord. Oh. No, uh, no messages anywhere. Anyway, um, Bear is awesome running it with 50% verse and Twilight 2, gotcha. Bear needs devs to stay re stay relevant. Verse Amp broke the game. Yeah, kind of kind of did, I agree. Um, Tomo Boar is pushing really high keys on Bear. Yeah, there's somebody at least to check. Hey, Bill, I made a Guardian Drift for a long time, and it's looking great right now, especially with the verse buff, but still boring for my taste. I see. Okay, check Discord now. All right. Oh yeah, dude. Are you uh, are you new to Nagatar? That's funny. That is that is why you do not go to Nagatar with war mode on. Oh sick! I thought the healing was through their mastery, but good to know. 
Why, what are we talking about? There's a cauldron, let's get it. You never know. Okay, we wait crest 20. Let's see how this goes. I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, Sanguine's gonna be a bit of a problem, but we can just pull him out. It's mainly because all these tank essences give a ton of base verse. That definitely helps, yeah. A bear with 100% verse gets a 64% max HP heal on Frenzy. Wow, that is crazy. They're converting the portal. They're covering the portal with the mount, so you can't leave. <laughs> Waycrest plus Sanguine equals fun. I don't mind it. It's not that bad anymore. Oh, wait, was that a, a drop? Just realized. Thought it was a player on a mount. This is such a great zone, man. I gotta do this zone. Gotta level through this zone. Might as well be Will the Necropolis. Yeah, definitely. It's stronger. Gives gives offense, too. What's this guy doing? You're not getting this, you fool. There's a fucking prop pally with 500k HP. What the fuck? Wait, is it? Wait, maybe it's a holy pally. No, that's not that's not any better, unfortunately. Uh, it's 800 verse for 10 stacks, so 16% under 35% HP. Nice. Oh no, a bunch of people have showed up. That guy's like fucking getting destroyed. Why can I not interrupt him? I'm confused. No, I think this is a prop pally or something. He's got the, the prop pally legendary on, doesn't he? He doesn't. He can't be. It looks like he has the prop out. No, he doesn't have it on. Okay. This is, what, 4v2? I don't think we're gonna kill anything here. It kinda sucks how people just gave up on these things. They don't even try anymore. Especially people that I'm in the Mythic Plus group with. It's like, you want guys to just come and kill these dudes and then we get the fucking free loot. Anyway, um, it's 800, okay, it's 87 per sack and you're not adding the 96% verse I have. Anyway, 64% heal on Frenzy, actually disgusting. He's got 100k mana, yeah. Damn, you played 61 Corruption as Tank, what level keys do you do? Wake Chris Manor is now turned off. Oh, I can just res and do it again, I guess. I guess nobody else is coming, though, so this is just a big waste of time, huh? We're not gonna kill four people by ourselves. Not unless we get some really lucky Twilight. Especially not with the healer. Oh, what? What's going on? Why was I not able to grip him? Anyway, uh, it's 58 corruption this week and 22s. There is a deadly foe in the area. Slay it before it brings harm to our allies. Anyway, I kind of wonder how Mythic Plus would look today if all corruptions were gone. Yeah, it would be a lot harder, that's for damn sure. That's Actually, I've never seen the Alliance box before. That's pretty good looking. Ooh. 
I'm doing 25s and 6s. I tried going over 40 once and got triple delusion on boss and got one shot. Yeah, definitely. Seems like a good play for keys like that. Everyone would be doing keys like three levels lower, yeah, pretty much. Just like season three, 20s were like really... To do over a 20 was like, holy shit, that's a good group. I remember thinking like, wow, 22, holy fuck. You know what I mean? Now it's like 28. Yeah, I guess I could repair. I did transfer a couple, a horde a couple days ago. Best step ever. People just play better. Yeah, definitely. Horde is definitely the place if you're pugging. If you're not uh, in a guild on Alliance, like if you're not in a serious group of people on Alliance, then you'll definitely want to go horde. So you play BGs, yeah, you can queue as Alliance for BGs too. Uh, three things from beyond barely touched me, hit me for 140k, nice. Alright, we ready? Emissary of Tides, those guys used to hurt, oh yeah. The Emissary is interesting, that was an interesting concept. Think I'm going Alliance, then maybe I'll play better than the rest of them. Yeah, if you're looking to get like big fish, little pond syndrome, then go Alliance. People are like 3K, what the heck? 3K. Well, you must be one of the best Alliance players in the world. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad, I'm sure. Uh, the guild name Molten Core swim, swim Team. Do they swim in lava? Maybe. Uh, we ready? Here we go. That's not my key, of course, but. So what's Waycrest going to look like this week? A lot of Sanguine. The first pack is going to be pretty much a pain. If you like depleting keys, because they can't even kill the totems at the same time. Yeah, that's what I... I've heard some bad things over there. It's unfortunate, but... Oh, this is Molten Core Swim Team. That's the name of that guild from Classic. I don't know. Uh, it's actually the same guild or what? Hey Metro, what's up? Caught you late on stream. What's up, my friend? How you doing? Nothing's up with me. Hopefully everything's good with you. Today we're trying something new. We're gonna do some Blood DK Mythic Plus keys. Trying that for today. Good luck on the dungeon, thanks. I hope we won't need it. It wasn't actually, uh, this week hasn't been that bad to us so far. A couple dungeons though, I mean like potentially this one have the potential to be bad. Oh, uh, we should have looked, I can't. Oh good, okay, it's up here. I'd rather just go this way from now on, honestly. Just TD a totem as a tank and congrats them with their six DPS. <laughs> Are you starting to get burned out from all the levers? Definitely, yeah. I mean, that's that happens at the end of every season, but... I'm just starting to lose interest. Not burned out, but it's just like... There's not as much to do on WoW anymore, so I've been spending a lot of time off WoW. I'm trying to get that... I would really... I don't think this is going to happen, but I'd really like to get that Pokemon game finished up before Shadowlands comes out. I would have to work on it pretty steadily for the next few months, but I think I could do it. I would really like that to be done, because it's something that's been weighing on me for a long time. Toldegore is the only bad dungeon with Sangreen. There's a couple bad ones, but this one is on the, on the list for sure. Yeah. There's a lot of damage taken from something I didn't expect to take any damage from. Fire up Ace Games and stream yourself working on it? Nah, I can't, definitely can't do that. That would be dull as fuck. I'm just literally, I'm just not able, like I'm not uh, that good at it. So I have to constantly, I don't know. You wouldn't want to watch that. It does sound like it would be cool to see, but I'm, I'm like terrible at it. Actually, I don't know. It wouldn't be a bad idea to log all the things I've done. But I don't think I could do it, just because it's like, 
it's already kind of stressful. Like, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I have to constantly read guides on how to do it. Um, and shit, so. I kind of would rather if... It's a cool concept, but it's a bit late now, I think. If I started from the beginning, I probably would have enjoyed it. How terrible, like, I don't know how to do 90% of the things that I do. I have to constantly look up guides. An occasional Friday night. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Someday. Also, I wouldn't want to do that because I do want to, uh, not like anybody would care, but I would like to prevent any spoilers from getting out about the game because I do believe I have a fairly interesting story, even though story is, like, not that important to me in the game. I do feel like I've, I've created a very interesting concept story-wise. The writing itself probably isn't very good, but uh, the concept behind it, I think it's very unique and people will like it. Motherload is brutal this week, do you think? I haven't done it yet. Why? Sanguine, I guess? I don't really fear Sanguine Motherload anymore. I used to, but not anymore. I used to, but I... Wait, I, I, I still do, but I used to, too. Man, imagine if these bosses drop Sanguine. I'm surprised they don't. Okay, Mitch. Uh, what are the packs? Where are the packs are so close knit that you have to continually move with Sanguine? Yeah, but you have so much more wiggle room now with the obelisks. Is Sanguine worse than bursting? I don't. I don't know. It's hard to really say. It depends on the dungeon a lot. Like, there's some dungeons where bursting literally does not factor in. Like, you would have to play very, very poorly for it to matter. And there's some that Sanguine is extremely difficult in, too, you know? Okay, here's three. Got a nice twilight there. Don't know if it might have been earlier than the, uh... I thought maybe Twilight got buffed by the Essence, but I don't know if it did. It's actually going to be a small problem. Start moving them so they're separated a bit. Uh, wait, that guy is Savior of Azeroth right now? I think that's for all rank 4 essences. Oh, really? My Savior of Azeroth? That doesn't sound like that would be the title, but... Wrong title, yeah. I was gonna say. That, that, that doesn't... At first glance, that doesn't appear to be the name of the title to me. I have it, and I don't have all rank 4s. What is it from? If you have it, it must not be from anything... Specific then, just from killing Nazoth, maybe from like normal or something. Isn't that Magni's bitch heroic Deathwing? Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> Quite the opposite. I think the title is Guardian of Azeroth. I got a bunch of dogs up. It's not great. Nah, we're good now. 
this in the fire if we can. I don't know actually how much it does, but it does some some damage. It's Azeroth's champion. Oh, okay. But we know who isn't Azeroth's champion. That's Matt Collins. He still can't get into Azeroth. Rank 4 Essence is Azeroth's champion. That's crazy. I mean, that must be so hard to get, right? Because... You have to be like really proficient in all different walks of content. Wonder how many people actually have that title. That'd be so fucking badass to have that, honestly. Beat you to it again, yeah, man. You're losing them all. Not good, dude. Um, only on I have seen is Roger Brown. Oh yeah, he's a big PVPer as well. Cause you have to be like Gladiator in PVP, don't you? How do you even get the rank four conflict and strife essence? And it's insane. Oh, it's only 2400? Oh, okay. You can do it, Metro. I believe in you. Well, considering I'm not going to try, I don't think I will be doing it. Uh, anyone has Servant of Nazoth title? What's that? Servant of Nazoth? What? How's that work? I have it. Matt Collins would be Azeroth's champion if Blizzard didn't hate him. Yeah, if they didn't prevent him from playing. I'm uh, missing rank 4. Oh boy. Missing rank 4 PvP 1 from my last rank 4. And to get the title that's rarest in the game. Oh yeah. But how, how does it actually work? What is rank 4? That's the one for killing 10 people. I've killed way more people than that. Kill 10 of your own. I can do that in Mythic Plus then. Should be easy enough. While hostile to your own faction. Oh, okay. That won't work then. Unless you count my own faction, Azralanians. After finishing Call to Arms, if you kill 10 Horde players, it is 2400. Got it. Interesting stuff. You get title. Sounds fun. 10 guildies died for me for that title. That's a uh, win trading, dude. I've reported you. Reported you. Why does the fucking thorn spawn with no health? What's going on? It's weird. Insider trading, yeah, that's illegal. Call the feds. Ha 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 ha. No joking matter, dude. The thorns seek your fire with me. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay, see you guys later. That has nothing to do with that. I don't know how the fucking healer died, too. The And I will get the fire again. And that'll be it. That's the end of the fire. Alright, so we do obelisk next. And not for any specific reason, just gotta get it out of the way. It's tank breaker? Yeah, it's always tank breaker there, I think. I don't think it's anything else. It's good to let your healer know when you're planning on dropping stacks. As a disc priest, I want to rapture. Maybe healer wasn't prepared. Got it. Yeah, won't, won't be able to do that, unfortunately. Is 
This guy's thinking he's a fire mage or something. I don't, I don't get it. If you need me to play around your fucking essence, then maybe... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Why is the warrior not here? Is he offline or something? I guess he's DC'd. Anyway, um, I, it really wouldn't hurt you in any way to just pull trash and do obelisk. It would have helped for Sangwee being in courtyard. Yeah, it's fine. It wouldn't hurt to do this either. I was already dedicated to this mentally, so there was no change in it. Not because this guy's essence is off CD, that's for sure. Either way is fine by me. I just don't want to forget. I always end up forgetting if we don't do that immediately. Um, the only loss is one less iris use. Yeah, guys already doing terrible damage, so it's not gonna not gonna lose sleep over that tonight. I guess he's here now. I don't know what the fuck that was about. He just refused to partic particip participate. Precipitate. He refused to rain. Go get the rest. Precipitation, yeah, that's it, yeah. I think I died a threat? Like, what the fuck? You ever done this before? You're gonna wanna wait until they're all outside. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a well timed twilight. These guys are like really concerned with their CDs. Wait, what are we? Oh, yeah. So I got maggots here. The problem is like I don't know what to do now. Should we try to keep trying to pull all these out or just fight them in the hallways? Probably just fight them in the hallways at this point. If it wasn't for Hellstone, that would have been a death. I'm really concerned with this guy's trinket usage or essence usage when he can't even fucking stay alive on a single pack. Uh, after you said Zulgrub is your favorite raid, I logged into Classic for the first time. It's a great raid, yeah. I wish I could do it more. But. We roll Warlock and it's an easy game, sweet. Irish Priest got deleted the second he started to TPS. Hey Paul, what's up man, long time no see.
Wow, two twilights like that back to back, that's crazy. I really wish that door was open though, it's so, so far now to try to run and get them out. I don't think we can. That door never opens, right? Until you kill the boss. Get rogue to pull boss and vanish. Oh, good call. That would have been one option, but I don't think that's going to be happening with this guy. Uh, the priest isn't even irising at the right time. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> this guy's damage is not nothing special, so I don't really give a fuck if its CDs are up or not. Just use them the best that you can. Silence, but doesn't really matter. Being stuck on tables. And there's Sangman right behind me now, so. To go this way. Needs a lot of time and don't have at the moment to invest. Got it. Oh, damn. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could use the fucking... I wow, that's neat. You could use the... Whatever, the emotes in a super chat if you're a member. That's neat. My go-to Discord emote for whenever someone said something iffy. Oh, but I won't read it. But yeah, either way, thanks a lot, man. 20 bucks, very generous. I appreciate your generosity in these last few months, man. It's been great. Uh, sup, Metro? Any tips for this week? Nah, if you have any specific questions, I can answer them, though. Uh, you really gotta evolve that Haunter into Gengar? I don't have a trade stone or whatever. Right? Is that how you trade? Is that how you do it in a normal game? You have to trade. Losing so much SP. <laughs> Haunter, or uh, Ghastly, is a route, uh, the first route you'll be able to get a Ghastly in my game. Some really good Pokemon in that first round. I spent a lot of time picking some good ones that weren't super overpowered, but were fun to play with at an early level. Ghastly, Magnemite, uh, I think we had like Jigglypuff, couple couple good ones. Bulbasaur is on that route. Okay, everybody just got hit by that. <laughs> good thing it's not tyrannical, otherwise that would have been a death. All right, we got all the count we need up here, right? Uh, you adding ways to get traded Pokemon? Yeah, that's like something that every fan games has already done. So we're just gonna use the same system as Reborn. It's an item called a trade stone. Instead of a trade, you just use the item on it. Emulates the trade. Uh, how do you force the mobs before third boss and TOS to move? Just sit them in Sanguine. I'm Prot Warrior. No way to get them out. I'm not sure. I've only really ever done it as as Blood DK, so I'm not sure. Probably, uh, you just run away, I guess, maybe, but... When is the alpha for your Pokemon game? Never. There won't be an alpha. It'll just be out. 
How do we get early access to your Pokemon game? Um, hundred dollar donation gets you early access. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Whenever I'm done making it, I'll let you guys know. It's like I have made some progress in these last few weeks, but still, it's going to be a really long time. The big problem I'm I'm encountering is is uh, sprites. Like for it to ever be like complete, I need a lot of sprites that I don't have right now, and I'm not good enough to make them myself. So I have to get somebody to. Uh, to make them for me effectively. Um, use your engineering knockback. Yeah, it's an option. We have to buy our alpha. <laughs> no, just kidding. You'll have to stay just, just, just out of range, and then they'll follow you. Gotcha. Uh, tough, tough getting through pug. To, wait, tough getting a pug to all runs. A balance druid. This balance druid wasn't even running typhoon on sanguine week. Gotcha. Anyone else had the Void Edge weapon enchantment from Visions? Yeah, I got it a couple times. Seems to drop all the time anymore. I don't know if they buffed it. Yeah, when, when the game is finally in a testable state, I plan on giving it to anybody who actually knows how to make videos and plans on making videos. Because I would like to see how they approach the difficulty. It's a game where like challenge is meant to be paramount. But um, I want to see how other people approach the difficulty. Because in my test playthrough, it was like I feel like I can beat it because I already know everything very well. But uh, I don't know if other people, maybe it's too hard, I don't know. What the fuck is going on here? Why are we still fighting this thing? Oh, like, how, how are... What's going on here? 30k DPS? What? I know you don't like backseat gaming, but most people run that obelisk down the stairs and snap it. Gotcha. That's why they're doing 30k then. That's what they're blabbling, babbling about, right? Are you making a Pokemon game, like traditional Pokemon game, or open world? Yeah, like a, I don't know, semi-traditional, I guess. I don't, definitely not open world. Like, let me in your alpha, so I can complain how it took a year for you to progress. <laughs> yeah, like I said, there won't there won't be any alpha. It just it'll be out to test, and that'll be it. Uh, where do I complain if the game is hard? <laughs> Nowhere. Don't play it if you don't like it hard. And because of Pug DPS, I still play with 6 ranks TD and keys 20 below her. Because why not? Gotcha. But yeah, it's like a, a concept I've always aligned with. Um, ever since like it kind of came to me. Basically turn the difficulty of the game up like hugely. Like double the difficulty, if not like much harder than double. But make a... Uh, the player have access to way more power. Like it's it's actually kind of why I'm liking Mythic Plus so much right now, because that's basically what it is. Like I'm doing like way harder content more regularly, but I'm like twice as powerful as I ever should have been, and I have way more access to, you know, things that would help me survive. So I get Pikachu was level five for three years. I contacted Metro and he just won't help me. There was a broken quest where I couldn't cut down a tree and couldn't progress. That's another thing that's going on with my game. There won't be any TMs. Won't be any surfing, won't be any fishing, there won't be any anything like that. No cut trees, nothing like that. Probably stupid to fight him up here, honestly. No surfing, so you got no water. Nope. Just have nowhere to surf. Got plenty of water. 
In fact, I just realized I used the water field. There's two different water fields. There's underwater and uh, water surface. I used water surface like twice in two in gyms. And I was gonna use it a third time, then I realized like just last night, I'm like, oh fuck, I can't keep using this. This is gonna make it a little bit too easy. Uh, so I changed it to underwater gym. It's a cool concept. I'll just one shot that guy. Nintendo is very aggressive against fan made Pokemon games. Nah, they're not. They act like they're doing something, but they're not. Uh, can you do me a favor? I'll remind you at the end of the day. Can you look at the damage taken per second? I'm curious. Uh, yeah, if you could show me how to. Yeah, definitely. He died to aggro, did he? I don't see how. I always confuses me when like the lowest DPS is the person who's pulling aggro. Meanwhile, you got people doing like fucking 50k more damage than him, and they're they don't have threat. Well, then Four, he shouldn't aggro. Three, uh, two, one. Yeah, I don't think that's what it was, honestly. This will save the essence for when there's two of them out. I notice your nameplates don't show when you have aggro. No, they do. Uh, it's, it's just about where the damage goes. I guess so, but it doesn't make any sense to me. Because if somebody else is doing 50,000 more DPS than this person, you'd think that they would have more damage going to the target that that dude pulled aggro on too, right? Um, he could start damaging mobs before Metro generates threat? No, that's what I'm saying. He, was, he died in the middle of the pack. We were like a minute and a half into the pack already, and then he died. Probably just taunted. Yeah, I don't like them changing color because I have this weak ore that changes the... You see how that works? So I don't like them changing color because of that. I much prefer this... So instead I have the outline change color. It's hard to see if you don't know what you're looking at, but I can see it fine. Almost walked back into that, that sucks. Did that guy that guy did walk back into that, I think. Maybe not. Alright. You think Buddy K is good for someone new to tanking? If you're like brand new to tanking and you don't feel like it would be a quick learning process for you, then I would say no. Buddy K is probably one of the harder tanks to play. Oh no, Kyle lost 2999. Wait, what? Mortals. Nice to see a Shadow Priest doing good damage. I pretty much avoid them at all costs when I run keys. Yeah, they all do good damage usually, but that's about all they do. Does anyone know if Mastery still increased the amount of damage reduction by Consecrate? Oh yeah, it still is. They haven't changed any Mastery this expansion that I'm aware of. Way fucking overcount, holy fuck. Probably should have shrouded or something. Oh, like, what's that? Five or six percent overcount? Still have the Obelisk as well. Pop mastery is the same. When do you aim to refresh bone shield? Um, I'm definitely the worst. Like you don't want to ask me that. I, I overspend bone shield so so severely at times. It's crazy. 
Ideally, you just stay above five the whole time, but that's easier said than done, especially when you're in high volume AoE. If you have a lot of mobs attacking you, it's difficult to uh, keep your head on a swivel, I feel like. A lot going on, a lot to monitor at that point, I feel like. Interrupt that lightning because I think that does damage too, right? Yes, it's not very good damage for this. We're gonna have some problems here. That might kill that dude. Yep. Alright, we did it. This is magic, right? No one is on candles. It's the worst feeling ever getting behind in bone shield stacks and ruins. Yeah, it is. I agree. Like right now, I have zero bone shield stacks because I wasn't even paying attention. Not a good feeling. Well, an easy upgrade. I don't know. These guys aren't the best players. They're okay. I guess this week is easy, though. Russian 20s, so. Relatively bad groups as well. Yeah, that's shadow damage. Anyway, I learned that habit since Legion. I always try to be ahead of your bow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that's the way I play, but it's really not optimal at all. It's the complete opposite, but I would rather have 10 stacks refresh into 10 stacks than have zero stacks at any point in the fight. Well, what do you guys think about Shadow Priest and raids? I'm thinking of playing one. They're a great pick for raids. Always, always will be. Multi-dotting is always something that is valuable in... in Certain raid fights. Alright, what do we got? Thank you, heroes. You've broken the coven and released. Motherload, sweet, let's do it. Can get to see if that's actually as bad as people are saying it is. Oh yeah, check avoidance tab. Oh yeah, what's that about? Let's see. Where is, what are we looking for? This is total damage taken per second. Is that what you're talking about? I don't even know what this is because like this obviously doesn't work for some reason. Uh, I was just running your damage taken percentage and healing done. Yeah. Total damage taken, 161 million. Self-healing, 111 million. You're about 30k deep DTPS over my Demon Hunter. Well, it's also based on the key too, right? But you're healing more. I mean, you'd have to do the exact same key to, to know that for sure, right? Plus it's Grievous this week. Last week was not Grievous. <coughs> You needed about 50k healing from the healer, yeah. Wonder how much of that is Grievous. I should look at that more. It's an interesting stat. I'm gonna run the bathroom real quick though, be right back.
Everybody's staying, it looks like. Alright. I always check after dungeon. Let's see how much healer had to heal me. Yeah, that's a good call. Alright, I gotta try that. Try to check that more often now. If I remember, I won't. Hey, I gotta fill up on water too. Alright, this is probably gonna be the last one, unfortunately. I mean, unless it goes really poorly or something, we'll do one more, but. Metro and Wake Press Manor, do you always go for witches first? I have been recently because it's been like the run defining element. Like if we do witches well, then we upgrade the key. If not, we waste a bunch of time, you know what I mean? So I think it is a good idea. I don't, it's not, it's not an easy thing to do though. I don't think it's like an optimal strategy. It's just like a pugging thing, you know? I think it's just one of those situations where like if you're pugging, uh, you probably could do it and, and be happy with the doing it. Because it puts you in a position where you're going to have, like, way less time wasted, you know what I mean? Every time I say which is first, no matter what, the left door is just open, yeah. I have only done it where you have to go all the way through the right a few times, but it's definitely, uh... It feel, it's, on Tyrannical, I would say it's probably always worth it, for sure. But on Fortified, I don't, I don't think it is. Uh, it's just a good idea to do anyway, because still... Good chance that you're going to wipe because of it. This week especially, it's not a bad idea. Coming from the left side is so much easier. So even if you don't go to Witches first, you probably still want to take that first obelisk to the center, to the courtyard. You lose like 1 to 1.5 minutes to get a normalized route and a good lust. Got it. Alright, so here we go. 21 mother load, guys. There's gonna be some hard packs in here with Sanguine, but I don't I don't think it's gonna be that difficult, frankly. I mean the trash itself won't be hard. Uh, it's just whether or not we have trouble with Sanguine. So it's like the robots, the robots are the like the the dudes who get in the robots, that is. Those are the hard ones. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, what is this Reddit AMA? What the hell? Hey, Seismical, what's up? Gives you, like, guaranteed lust on witches, raw, and last boss plus obelisk, yeah. Now, when can we expect the Curse Forge app to be released? Quarter four. Alright, we're good. Everybody's here. Just reading about that. It's an interesting... Oops. Wow, that's not good. Holy fuck. Okay, that's really bad. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for that. 999. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have well over a million health, but now we changed all our shit around. Definitely need the essence for this <laughs> first pack, so 
Accidentally smashed it there when I was tabbing back in. Make sure you guys smash that essence button. These guys are all like grossly unqualified for this key, so they're not gonna be like complaining, I guess. Yeah, realistically, Lost Mine actually makes Sanguine worse. Because we might kill the shit so fast, and then we'll just be sitting there while they're in Sanguine, unable to do anything. I don't know. Alright, be ready now. Just gotta use. Hey, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna take uh, the Gorfiend's talent for this one. It might actually be useful. Here we go. Five. That was the right talent I took, right? <laughs> Last week I accidentally took the wrong talent. What's your opinion on Fig Newtons? I don't know if I've ever had them, honestly. Sounds familiar. Is it candy or what is it? A cookie of some sort? Oh, that was close. I hate figs. Got it. It's like fig paste and cookies, I see. I've had, like, fig snacks before, but... Fig Newton, like Isaac Newton? Never heard of it. My one-year-old loves them. Uh-oh. <laughs> you, you hear that, jerks? That's not good, man. Yeah, they definitely could have went worse. I was waiting that whole time to interrupt, and then the guy takes it. Okay, again, that definitely went pretty well. You need a bar of white chocolate? I just need a bar of white chocolate, why? What happened? Getting those Gorfiends going. Hopefully we'll get some value out of this talent. Nothing, I just need it. Oh, okay. Sounds like you want it. Okay, that guy just died to that. Alright. Interesting. Does it, do, does it really do that much damage? See, I don't, I don't really have a lot of respect for this guy's mana pool. It's like he doesn't drink when he needs to and then complains when he's behind on drinking. That's not how you should approach this effects at all, right? You should try to top yourself off as often as possible. Any healers out there have an opinion on that? Four chewy cookies, it says. They look, they look familiar. Real fruit. That's a, that's a, what a world we live in. Yeah, besides fish trees, obviously. Maybe you can't snap these? It's too close, I guess. Probably forgot to buy water. No, he's, 
drinking. It just doesn't use it very often. Hey, what's up, Willie? How's it going, man? I was pretty lucky. Buried all of them. Rune weapon pretty OP. As a healer, the only time I don't drink often is if I have my if my last if I'm on my last stack of water. Yeah. Uh, good. Finally got a new chest. Nice. What'd you get? Did Eternal Palace heroic? I see. How was it fun? If a healer doesn't stock fish feasts, yeah, I totally agree, but unfortunately, <laughs> very, very, very few do, so I don't know. No matter how much we think it's important, people don't seem to agree. See, that's, that's the problem there, those robots just standing in it. I have to try to move them before it happens, I guess. Ah, surprised. Anyway, a good one shot all bosses bar one because someone interrupted it and killed us. That's interesting. Oh, on Orgoza, what the hell? I'm trying to think like how that could even happen. Solar flare. I imagine most don't know you can go fish the entire week. Yeah, probably not. Well, I already have a sneaking suspicion that's not going to be an upgrade. But we'll see. If we blow the doors off, uh, some parts would be a good, good shape. Oh, oh, is he coming up or what? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, that would be cool tattoo. The sun and two hands in the pose of either side. That would be a cool tattoo, actually. Wait, what? Like on your skull or something? Where would you put the tattoo? Uh, hey, Flinty, what's up, man? Anyone get anything I should be jealous of? Not me. Got a fucking trinket that we won't use. I'ma get that. That'd be awesome. Don't know where. Kinda like the crown of your back maybe would be like the best place for it. I've been doing a fun little four pack full on the rock doors after boss one. Yeah, I do it. Uh, I usually just do three. Four is a bit much, but... I do three and two anymore recently. Ursal just subscribed. What's up? Probably not worth it this week with saying we know a lot of small mobs in that pack. Uh, I usually only do it on Tyrannical, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Zach Foster. Willie, you related? Thanks for the sub. It's a good trank there. I never really paid attention to when druids use their prank anymore. I can't imagine without sigils. Oh yeah, that's my point. <laughs> it's it's going to be pretty, uh, a lot of casts there, let's say that. Uh, this ain't going to be another Colin situation. <laughs> Funny stuff. Chains, fears, and silence buys us like 10, sec 10 seconds, yeah. Okay, we got to move, got to move, got to move. See, I already fucked it up. But we did end up working, it did end up working. 
Because I don't know if I'll be the dumb one. <laughs> yeah, you might be. I have a feeling. Wait, what the hell did we just do? Oh, wow, we just backed into like two packs. Okay. That's not good. I, I didn't think I was where I was, let's put it that way. I thought I was the other direction. Okay, good, good work on that though, at least. I keep them moving away. Don't get fucking disoriented. Okay, that, that definitely could have went a lot worse. Makes it look like it was intentional. Wow, big cons right there. Oh, you ended up timing the weight crest? Yeah, yeah, they were good. The amount of times I, I, I almost like don't have a target on Death Strike and I almost die to it is kind of crazy. Happens way more than it should. Yeah, as long as you keep the mobs move. I mean, once you've cleared a few, there's always room to kite too, so. I call that the tab panic. Yeah, same. Realize that my target's not in range, and I'm like, holy fuck, I'm gonna die now. Happens so often. Because I always have to be like pulling mobs that are like really far away from me and shit. That went well. Just this pack next. I don't actually have slow D&D, so... It's hard to get used to that. Nice fear. I'm gonna say I didn't have gore fiends. It does not actually interrupt that inhale vapor. Pretty stupid idea to even try, but... Blood Decay looks so much more fun than Brewmaster. I missed his comments. I uh, need to make the jump to DK, but would be so far behind I think I'll wait to Shadowlands. Yeah. Might as well get the character set up now so when Shadowlands does come out, you don't have to worry about it. But if you think you wouldn't have time to get caught up now, then yeah, might as well. Blood Decay is a lot more fun than Brewmaster. Although, I'll tell you what, Brewmaster is going to be a lot more fun in Shadowlands, James. For sure. They're getting some really cool tools. It's just man, man is already an issue, so let's not overcomplicate it. That one, that one weapon fury. Oh, dude, how funny was that, right? That's hilarious. Your face. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I mean, that's just some shit that you couldn't believe. Like, it's hard, it's really hard to believe that that ever happened, even now, knowing that it happened. Oh, yeah, we need so much more count still. Need, like, probably at least three more packs. Now yeah, they're going to the same one. Unlucker.
Oh, fuck the labor. Gonna heal the mob. Like a hunter needing a mace, right? What happened? Uh, it's a long story, but basically a warrior joined a key and he only had one weapon on as a fury warrior and did like the whole key without changing that. Celestial Brew is going to get nerfed before it goes live? Maybe. But it's still going to be a really fun spell to use regardless, unless they remove it. It's going to be very fun. Okay, that went perfectly. I really like to multi-spec though, and I'm tired of Brew being the only good spec they have. Uh, plus, I think self-sustain on Bloody Decay looks nice. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely... The self-sustain is the fun part, for sure. I'll need at least... Probably these two packs here is all we'll need. Beware. If I gotta watch these laborers. Keep them going in the same direction at least. Okay, we're good. Uh, that's why I originally played DK so much when they lost all their stuff in BFA. The mitigation was too low. I went for Vengeance. Yeah. It's definitely a, a good second pick. If you like Blood, you'll probably like Vengeance. I have a geared Vengeance and it feels better than Monk, even with my Monk at 46% purse. But yeah, I don't know. For me, Monk is just way too boring, man. I couldn't... I don't think I could main it. But next expansion, it's going to be a lot different. I'm not going to have anything up for this big pack coming up here. We'll just get two. Well, we got the count we need, but Lust is back up. This guy just literally doesn't drink. I really don't have any respect for this. Shadow Priest is doing pretty good damage. Yeah, they're all doing fine damage. The damage is actually like really stable. They do good damage on every pack. Like, I've yet to have problems with damage on any of these packs. Uh, over 100k from all three. Yeah, it's good. Totally agree. Jesus, holy fuck. Anyway, uh, well, Mitchell, you missed one part of the priest utility. They can do good damage while dead. Oh, yeah. Uh, it really is boring. I feel like Celestial Brew is going to take too much time to set up when you need it. Like, they're not going to have much react. Oh, you think? I don't think it's going to be that way. The CD is really short, so I'm not sure what makes you think that, but I think it'll be the other way around.
It's interrupting the rock land. I should have done it though. It was mine to interrupt. What's up, man? How are you? Hey, Simon, what's up? It's been a while. How you been? Where you been? What you been doing? Anything? Simon Call is gonna roast everyone? No, it's not that kind of Simon Call. Different guy. There's only one Simon Call. No, I don't think there is. That's unlucky. The twilight went off five seconds later. It would have been huge. On that note, off the gym. All right, see you later, man. Let's get to it. And it's the blobs. So I don't really care about snapping it. Uh, not much, mate. Work and school. That's pretty much it. Sweet man. We'll hope you're well. Isn't Simon Cowell in trouble? No, he's, he's fine. He's welcome to stay in the chat. Don't worry about it. Just because he hasn't been here for a while doesn't mean that uh, he's in trouble. <laughs> a lot of people come and go. Got slowed by corruption there, so now I have to not get crit killed by him hitting him, me him in the back. This dungeon is lots of work this week for the tank. Not really. I don't know why people keep saying that. This is really... It, it, in the first three seasons, I would agree with you, but this is a joke now with the obelisk. You get such a good path into all, all the high-density areas. Uh, do you feel like Mother Lord is your best dungeon? It's probably the one that I feel the most confident in week to week, yeah. Absolutely. No, we can't I don't we can't res them, so. Or maybe you can't I don't yeah, I don't think no, there's no way to res here. Anyway, oof, big 21, any IO gainers in chat? We will not be upgrading this. Uh, yeah. First time watching, but I like how you interact with your viewer base. Tanner, thanks a lot, man. Healer cast mass res, doesn't work in here. I uh, tried playing with 63 corruption, got ganked by two things from beyond. Um. Oh yeah, that like hardcore strat. All good, we'll just res, we'll just walk. Wait for the res. Mass res does work. We'll make what they change it or something. It reses you outside, right? So he's gonna pull the boss and die. Okay, good. So hot today. Yeah, it's hot here. Hot here. Yeah, they can res him by cart. Too late. I don't see how it would though. If I can't batter res him, I don't see how mass res would work. I mean, like, they're not in the same realm. It's, <laughs> they're not even in the same phase. You can't do anything else to the person. We have done it. Uh, I take your word for it, as always. OK, 
I said, it's a relatively rare. I mean, why would you even do it in the first place? Other than right here, when, when would you ever try to res somebody at that in that situation? Snake room of TOS. Huh? Oh, right. That strategy where like nobody actually goes out. Got it. Oh wait. So that's like yeah. If that if that works there, then I started watching Westworld three. Big boys. Yeah, it's fun. It's a great season. Sanjay decided to ride the lightning on tank breaker boss and died when we were at the third boss in a workshop. Ride the lightning. It was a good run though, or good good day today. How about that? No depletes, no disbands. Might still happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen with this, these guys. The the perfect day. Pull these back a bit. So the obelisk isn't covered, now we're good. No, accidentally fat fingered my right mouse button and clicked off, or my left. Just trying to interrupt the cast there and ended up clicking the wrong mob. Alright, good. Yes, freaking sanguine in here is not a problem at all, I don't know. Not a problem, if you ask me. Bigger problem, the obelisk, really. I hate the obelisk sanguines. So I don't know if there'll be an, uh... I don't know if there'll be a, uh... Alpha build this weekend, or this week, or whatever. But we'll stream one way or the Thursday. If, if there's nothing by Thursday, nothing that's worth doing on Thursday, we'll uh, we'll go Thursday night and do some more keys. Uh, but yeah, realistically, uh, I'm not sure what they're, other than more dungeons, I guess. I'm not really sure what else there'd be to test on the alpha. I guess more dungeons is definitely probably the next thing. Maybe, maybe the Maw, though. Maybe they'll have max level testing, finally. It could be actually a big build, to be honest. But I don't know, I kind of assumed that that was going to be beta. I don't know how there's still not been, maybe it, it's going to come today later, but I don't know when they're going to actually make that, do that announcement that they were supposed to make. But this is going to be the last one. I'm, I'm just way too hungry. I got really fucked my eating schedule up this weekend, so I need to, uh, I need to try to fix it. Slowly eat later in the day every day. Okay, I guess we're gone. It's gonna miss or mass dispel the uh, the debuffs. Perfect. That's cool. That's some good utility there. Finally, we can AMS the next one. Nice. That's a good start right there. And whiff. Yeah, yeah, it cleared a little bit. Oh, he dispelled the warrior. Interesting. Uh, preset full insanity, so he pulled for you, and people blame fire. Yo, this guy is like worse than any fire mage I've ever played with. He's like, 
He's talking about like his essences and shit being up. It's like, dude, I really packs all together, and he fucking pops the essence and dies like immediately the second he uses it. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that was. I'm glad we did that. Priest in 2020 raffle, yeah. I'm with you. That was a tough puzzle to solve there. One more chemical burn removal. Wait, oh, it didn't go on me. Both didn't go on me, fuck. People were too close, I guess. Save the essence for the next pack. This guy could actually be tough. Uh, hey, what's up, Smith? How's it going? Uh, keys were really good today, actually. Yeah, we already got multiple 21s done, so that's better than most weeks. And uh, we had zero dis disbands, which is kind of crazy. That's a bit rare, I feel like. I don't know when the last time we had a full day with no disbands is. Although, oh, although to be fair, we did play with like the same group for a lot of keys. I think it's the affix mentality. It's definitely part of that. I'm sure this week people look at it as easier. I don't necessarily look at it as easier, but yeah, there's not a boss that wipes you and disbands the key when you're on Fortify. That's, that's what I've been saying the whole expansion. <laughs> like it's just the easiest uh, of the two, you know what I mean? This is gonna be enough count, right, with the obelisk. Should be good. Glad to hear that, me too. It was a fun day, actually. I'm really not feeling very good, though, because of what I was talking about before, so this is gonna be the last one, but uh, yeah, it's been a, it was a good day. Hopefully the week will continue to be good. This isn't the easiest fort week, but it's by, it's by far not the hardest. Yeah, I agree. Not that bad. This is actually not enough. We need one more. Killing Ilganoth later? What, on Heroic? You haven't done Ilganoth in a long time. Oh, wait, 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 Ilganoth. What the, I don't know why I thought you said Nazoth. Probably not today, but yeah. Hopefully tomorrow. We got two Ilganoth last week, so that was pretty impressive. A uh, 25 should not be the highest tyrannical siege compared to a 28, yeah. Siege is just a fucking joke, though, honestly. Just speed pot. Anyway, true. Uh, Blizzard will never balance the game around the top 0.05%. Right, no, of course not. But still, it would be nice if Tyrannical and Fortified had different outputs. They make their money from casuals, but casuals aren't interacting with these affixes, so that's not relevant. Easy 21, maybe. We'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. Right where you belong. Here, move it slowly, because every point in damage is going to matter here. Hmm, it's an unlucky start. Oh, okay. Rough. 
Good thing we got four battle reses. Is this gonna happen or what? Let's go. Jesus. Uh, Metro, what do you think is the best healer for Mythic Plus? Uh, Blood Death Knight. Anyway, thanks a lot, man. Uh, the bird became a member. Thanks a lot, man. It's fucking people who aren't qualified for their own key, though. It is starting to get a bit annoying. Druid best healer? Nah, mythical. Or mythic plus uh, blood decay, of course. You hate to see it. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't expect this to upgrade this anyway, so I'm not surprising. They're just tunneling. I'm pretty sure the two the two range they ran with it. Like they were uh, they were safe and they ran with it. Like they took like five ticks from it. it. Doesn't make any sense. It's not. It doesn't do that much damage on fortify. They sh it shouldn't have killed anybody. Gatling gun scales were fortified. Either way, you can see how much damage people are taking from it. It didn't do anywhere near enough damage to kill those people outright. They got killed because they ran with it. They took way too many stacks of it. Where's the best one? Oh, there's one right next to it. That's nice. Hopefully we can get this one next. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, is that pixel perfect plater profile? What does that mean? Don't know what that means, sorry. Hey, what's up, Tanner? How's it going, man? Glad to see you. Unfortunately, you've come at the wrong time. Your nameplate add-on. I'm using Plater, if that's what you're asking, but I don't know what pixel perfect means. Yeah, looks like we would have upgraded it based on how long the fight took, so... Pretty crazy. Just lost the key to fucking basic-ass mechanics on a... to <laughs> Horde Fighter Week. Oh well, I didn't expect, I, I'm surprised it was actually that close. I didn't think we would have upgraded it. But we got a red button with a socket. I don't think I'll ever use that, but. All right, anyway, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. It was a good one. We had a really, a really good day of keys. So we'll be back on Thursday one way or the other. Uh, maybe with some nice alpha shit, we'll see. Hopefully there'll be some big announcements between now and then. 
I will talk about it in Discord if there's any announcements. But yeah, otherwise Thursday for sure. And then definitely Friday, Saturday back to BFA. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. I said I, I should carry through Sanguine as a tank. Man, there are some less than intelligent people playing today. Yeah, all right, see you guys later. Have a good one.